Damn Boom. Ha. Get you. Ha. The internet <laughs> says that we are here. So are we here? That we are mom here. Mom says we are here too. <laughs> Hi, mom. Damn. My mom's a nice woman. You don't talk about Juanita like that. Anyway, <laughs> hello everyone. Uh, don't mind us. We're just being our typical and amazing selves. No big deal. Yeah, nerds. About tabletop RPGs <laughs> behind the scenes before we go and play tabletop RPGs. So. Hello, everyone. Jacob here, Duel King Jacob on the internet, and welcome to episode 11 of Duval! Duval! Dragon! 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 And pseudo dragons! Pseudo dragons! Pseudo dragons! We gotta have there. So, we have uh, what I think will be a uh, particularly uh, ridiculous uh, set of stuff. Uh, to go on and uh as yeah. the uh, peacekeepers continue to oh. um, have a uh, a wonderful vacation it's oh, been right. peaceful there's been nothing going on ain't eh, wrong all that stuff is incorrect what? but what's vacation well, I... Va vacation time. Get vacation oh uh, everyone anyway so um as you can see uh we are currently missing our favorite avian friend uh worst greet uh as fenway has to do some uh, Jasper's Game Day stuff, which is never a problem. That reminds me, uh, after you watch this show, you need to go watch both uh, Fenway and my uh, one shot, two different one shots. Uh, mine was on Friday, one was on, hers was on Saturday. Check those out uh, back over on twitch.tv slash Slade Paradise, D-I-C-E. So check that out um, with a lot of other games. It was a, it was a hell of a weekend. Uh, so, but for the folks that are here, why don't we kick it off to the official cartographer of Duval and Dragons, who I need to give a bunch of stuff to. Just tell folks, tell folks about yourself and who you're playing. Oh, you're muted or something. I'm mute. Can you? Oh no, is it better? Yep. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Hi guys, gals and non-binary pals. It is I, uh, Jess, aka Freckle Sketches on the Everywhere. Um, I am playing Zakria Rashi, our Fire Genasi Paladin, leader of the pack. Cause you're the boss. The leader. I am the leader. Oh, oh, you said boss? No, wait, there's, wait, you, you have a boss and a leader. Uh, that doesn't... I have a boss <laughs> and a leader. <laughs> your, your, your mom is the boss. <laughs> See? Oh, well, back, back to the well, huh? That escalated anyway. quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 um, I have one joke today, and that's it, that's it. That's all I got. It's, yeah, you're two That's for, it? You're two okay. for two. All, all right, Chris, tell folks about yourself. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Chris, uh, playing good old Satur, the semi-crazy, or at least is he crazy, uh, half work. We'll see how things go today. For sure, hmm. for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, but we will see. Uh, especially so, where I left it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, especially where we'll get into that. Uh, Jeremy, tell the folks about yourself as well. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeremy, better known as Darth and Trey, all over the internet. Um, Darth underscore and Trey on Twitch. Still not streaming, but as soon as I do, if you follow me on socials, you'll see when I go live. Be playing a lot of Dead by Daylight, uh, some while. But uh, I'm also the storyteller for London's Not Dead over on Slade's Paradise, Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, where that game has kind of the wheels have come off there with the Anarchs and some, some consequences are, have kind of fallen into place. Um, but I do that. Um, you can also find me here every time that Duval and Dragons is on. And in February, I will be playing in the Fall of London, which predates my game, um, with someone that I played in one of the, in Ellie Collins' uh, vampire game on the same show that Duval and Fenway ran their games. So I'm really excited what? to be playing in that because um, I don't get to be a vampire player that often because I storytell it, but I'm looking mm. forward to that. Um, and hopefully some stuff here in the future once I get some job details worked out for myself. Um, so me and Matt are going to be talking about some stuff as soon as I know something. Um, but that's me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. And last, wait, not last. Chris, did you go already? I already lost my train of thought. Yeah, yeah I Chris already went. It's oh, cool. it's so Maddie's then, it's Maddie's turn. It's, it's Maddie's. It's it's mom. It's it's Rilo's turn. I don't know what's happening. Um, hey folks, I'm Maddie, aka So Maddie Games, and yeah, this is my channel. 
Um, welcome. Um, I'm playing Rilo, who is, you know, Devin's adopted child. Um, he's a petit fling, uh, sorcerer warlock. Um, you know, he's not very wise at all. Even the slice. I have a seven. I have a seven wisdom. That's good. <laughs> and I it's try, great, right? I try to role play that as well as I can. And you do oh, a very good job. It's it's it's, it's fantastic. stellar. So, with that all being said, why don't we go ahead and dive the hell in, huh? So, hmm. the weight of their responsibility as the peacekeepers continues to take its toll. First, the perceived loss of Horse Green Eye, their companion and friend to some, rival to others. Uh, their emotions about what's happening around them starting to bubble to the surface, leading to some fractures amongst the group, including uh, an unexpected assassination of a pickpocket um, as... I was saving person E. I literally have that written down. <laughs> anyway, uh, so assassin for one, accessory to, mu to murder some of the others. What are the peacekeepers' next move? Dealing with the pending threat of a large green dragon demanding money and blackmail? Concerns about the king and him being up to no good? What about their friend Sven? Is Talyra alive? What do they tell Melchior? What about Lavos? CNBC. What about Lavos? <laughs> Uh, anyway, so the CNBC, uh, the Clay Nassau Baker conglomerate, continues to uh, make their presence known a group of ne'er do wells uh, that has been essentially talking shit about the peacekeepers. Uh, as the peacekeepers both uh, continue to have drink and creating and thinking about where they were going to rest for their night, as uh, Devin and his former boss created. Uh, a bit of a new temporary home for them. Written in the sky in fire was fuck the peacekeepers, long live the C and BC. Our time to strike back for the people is now. Not being outdone, Worst Street and Rilo put their heads together and uh, decided to respond in kind right back at you. So, as we pick up from there, as the evening continues, Zakria, I believe it was you. Oh, yeah. Was that? Um, she, uh, of well, hold course. On. Oh, go ahead. So, Zakria, considering this another of the many transgressions of the CNBC, you, Zakria rolled her eyes and began to head back inside of the pier, the establishment that they had just come out of. Uh, and Zakria, so you actually see that the pier, as, as, as it's now that you're used to it, begins to continue its traditional rock back and forth. But as you looked off into the, what is uh, the north side of the city, there is a suite of these really uh, old buildings. And you see that one now is a different color than it used to be. Typically, it's fairly dark, so it's hard to see. But now it appears to be on fire. And you see the second half of the, the, the front end of this mansion go up in flames. And a moment after that, a large secondary explosion as a second building also goes up in flames. What happened to Lane Lowe? The, the, you hear even from the inside, there's now just the scurrying of chatter as this kind of secondary kind of air shockwave seems to hit uh, almost just as a response to this explosion. And 
what would you like to do? Um, Zakaria's going to look to the rest of the group. Um, does, do, I'm assuming everybody notices it considering a shockwave went. Um, well, what I was, was still inside. What was that? Something's blown up. What? Something's blown up. So looking in that direction and with oh, Evan's yeah. familiarity of the city, um, would he know whereabouts... Okay. Um, Let's try that, again. that is, and and possibly what building it was, or what mansion it was. We, what was that you were asking? I said with Devin being familiar with the city because of his status with uh, the king's army, and at times doing patrols because he yep. has to do that. Um, and seeing the these t two explosions, would he be familiar with maybe what mansion that was, who it belonged to, or just any general information he might have about? Yes, as a matter of fact, Zakria and and Devin, um, just based off of the conversations that you've had and and the the experience, uh, this was the one of the one of the actual buildings was the, the first one that seemed to go up in flames was a uh was one that you'd heard that there was some sort of rumors about some sort of um ghostly Ghost. entity and the second the second um n nothing really comes to mind recently um but you can make a, a history check and see if something comes up i will do that I should probably pull my character sheet up. It'd be a good point. Um, can I assist Devin for advantage? Yeah. Gosh, just don't fail me tonight. Huh. I had enough of that with my dice last night. Oh, right. Maybe not. Um... Let's see if I can get my headset working again here. Oh, no. Is it not acting up? Yeah. That's why I didn't hear y'all for a second, because <laughs> Zoom switched from <laughs> my uh, headset to my microphone, so it just didn't really help at all. Fun. Uh, so a 13 is the best I got with the help 13. from Zakria. Uh, yeah, does not um, appear uh, to be, um, nothing really comes to mind. If we're lying low, we can't do anything about this. If we need to not be seen anywhere, there's nothing we can do right now. There's nothing that any of you can do. As far as the king knows, we don't, we're not on to him. Fair enough. <clears throat> so as you guys were outside making that conversation, uh, I make it outside and see this, that a building's on fire. Hey, there's a fire! We're, we have to go find out and help somebody. So, Tur, we're not, we're not going to. Uh, what? It, we're we're being hunted. It's not wise. By multiple parties. Yeah, it, <sighs> it doesn't sit I'm, well with me either. Trust me. I. But we're heroes. We're supposed to be the ones helping people. We and we're not going to help too many more if we get captured and dealt with. I don't think capture is the option. I think we'll all be dead if, if it comes to that. Dead? So, they're not happy with us. They want to prove us to be usurpers and not what we claim to be. Mm. And this fire, this fire is clearly a trap. Because what do we normally do? We normally rush off it's my instinct too, yes. You all have to stop. Stop thinking like peacekeepers. What do we do then? You're all going to lay low. I'm going to draw them out. As this conversation continues, lay there low. are 
there are now clusters of people that are beginning to actually head um, away from the fire. But you do see um, about three or four of the uh, teal uh, kind of garbed uh, city guard that are making their way there. Uh, and on their large spears, they actually have these like kind of pails of of water. And you actually see a few, like almost like a line begin to form uh, towards the, the south, um, going towards the water. And um, as sort of this, this like natural kind of put give and take from that perspective. And then, no, Devin, I can't stand by and just let someone else get hurt. I don't care if I'm not in the front line helping or if I'm in the back water, hauling buckets. It's not in my nature just to let someone burn. And I rush off to help at least the water line. Okay, got it. And uh, you come forward and there, there is this um, sort of this natural, you kind of hear this, um, this, there's like a cluster of several voices. Um, most of them, you know, just kind of putting two and two together, trying to make sure that folks are able to, um, you know, not cause an absolute like clusterfuck of, of people and folks are just um, going back and forth. And uh, uh, one of them kind of grabs your attention. You, can you go ahead and grab one of these extras? Uh, so um, with my history on the, on the sea, I would be more... I would be like, hey, well, hey, we need to be actually setting up a, sign, a line here. We need to get things going. We need more of it than just an extra bucket in the line. Come on, let's get things going. Okay. And, and, direct okay. The, and start to direct things in a, like I would in, on, a, on a ship. Sure. Okay. Got it. And so you, you, you actually, so instead of grabbing another pail and just being part of the line, you're trying to sort of direct traffic. Um, go ahead and make a persuasion check for me. Okay. Persuasion. Well, this will go swimmingly. Of course. Three. Three. So um, there, it like you're like kind of come and set up to sort of make your your presence known is um, initially with that this first person is he's very much like on on board, um, but as moments you know kind of turn into minutes. Uh, you're just another person and essentially yeah. you know if you're not moving you need to they're getting it out of the way um so yeah they're just trying to get move, like what kind of a maneuver around you um but and i would fall in line toward, okay. and i would fall Got in it. line as as i as a good sailor would so. sure 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 absolutely cool so uh what about the rest of you devin's going to look at uh Zakria. Um, and you would you would normally expect him to say, you know, you're the leader. At this point, he's like, keep them safe. If anybody can do that, it's you. I'm going to see if I can find out what's going on. Um, and it's better if I go alone that way. Um, if anything happens, the rest of you can get to the orb and get out of here go fix time, go go kill Nachos or whatever the hell his name is. Um, Where are we meeting? Here? Over in the south, there's a house with an elven inscription above the door. Um, it's my brother-in-law and my nephew. And he'll describe how to get there. It's actually one of the houses that he stops at after he gets paid each month and drops off kind of money. Um, tell them that you're friends of mine um, and ask them to let you stay there until I get there. If you don't see me in three days, you all go through that orb. Devin? Are you leaving? Are you going further than a mile away from us? Uh, Jacob, how far away is where this fire is? It's it's not it's not further than a mile. It's about uh, about three quarters. About three quarters of a mile. I want to send Pepper with you. I want to keep an eye on you. I don't like you going alone. That's wise. Can Pepper be sneaky? Pepper's very sneaky. 
She hides in my shirt all the time. You can never tell. And I'm I tiny. Kind of I kind of assume she's in your shirt. <laughs> but I travel with you. So if she can be sneaky, then by all means. She can come um, with She is... Yeah, that's like one of her skills is is sneakiness. Very sneaky. I forget she's here. Oh, hi. Um, but if she, if she's within a mile, I can still sense through her. And if there's As trouble, conversations happening, then the we can initial the initial building. You see it begin as the actual like flame up top seems to be snuffed out but it begins to then collapse onto the first and you just see this large puff of of smoke billow out um towards everyone oh god it is now really difficult to see from from there now oh uh, being on the waterline do i hear anything coming from the building from separate from that Mm, make, a, make a perception check at disadvantage. That should make it easier to sneak. Yeah. Uh, Silver pers- linings? A disadvantage? Oh, man. Yeah, because it, it was loud. You'd, you'd have to pick something out. Uh, so disadvantage would be, uh, 15 still. 15 still. All right. Uh, so they're, they're outside of the shockwave. You shortly before that, you kind of heard a small, um, shift in like what, like, you're not sure where, you know, it came from from the underneath side of the building, even from as far away as you are. Um, but you're not super sure the specifics other than before the something was extinguished it, or the fire itself was extinguished, there was some sort of pulse that happened. You probably would, could gather based off of your experience that likely this was not by accident, whatever that was. Okay, but I'm not hearing like people screaming or anything like that. It's from around the buildings. <clears throat> so not from not from there, no. Um, which is probably strange. Most of the screaming is coming from your your nearby vantage point. Okay. And folks kind of yelling to and fro um, as they begin to to sort of to take the um, you know take the the fire to task, so to speak. But now it's incredibly hard to see. So folks are just going, you know, a few folks seem to have kind of peeled off to the left and to the right. Um, but a few folks are still kind of going in and seeing what's going on. Okay. Uh, and uh, Work Street is going to look to you, Rilo. And so like, wherever you're going, you're not going by yourself either. <clears throat> oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying with you and Zakria. Great. And hopefully Great. we keep an eye on Sator because we don't want him to go do something crazy. Like, you know, be a great person and help people because um, that would be crazy right now. But right. I am going to I am gonna send Pepper with Devin so that we can keep an eye and make sure that nothing happens to Devin. If something does, then we can go there. Right? Right. Right. Yes, but yeah. between the two of us, we should probably get some cloaks. You and I are a little more colorful than you might want to the get average one bear. Sator as well. We need cloaks. We need something to hide with. Oh, go yeah. in, go inside and ask for Shaky Pete. Tell him that uh, Devin will pay him for the cloaks later. I can pay for it now. Shaky Pete. That's a cool name. Let's head inside. Okay. Devin starts to say something to Zakria. It's it's not important. I'll tell you later. Um, And he basically is going to 
stealth and try to get as close as he can and get a vantage point to see if he can figure out what's going on because he has a feeling that this was not an accident um, and that it was probably the CNBC. Um, so there is, let me see. Okay. So and you're just kind of just outside on the other side, kind of perpendicular to where, th where things are. Uh, and that's a natural 20, so a 30 on stealth, yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're gone. You're in, you, you went through the orb. Um, but yeah, Satir, so one of the things that is 16. even, even and actually in Zakria and Rilo, as you head back inside, it's almost as if nothing outside happened. Everyone seems to still be doing their thing. Drinks. Partying. Zakria's going to go up to the bar um, and knock just to call for service, essentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, pa, pa. Hello, hello, hello there again. Can you point me into the direction of Shaky Pete, please? Hmm. Oh. Uh, don't know if he came in earlier this evening, but. um. I certainly leave a message for him. We just need cloaks. Something to cover up my standard regalia. Oh, oh well, in that case, I think I might... You know how sometimes you have, like, a, a coat check? When people don't pick them don't. up, I get it. Yeah, that's why we don't do them anymore. But I've got a fuck ton ready to go. Um, almost all the colors of the rainbow, fun enough, so... You got some his size, and she's going to point to, to Rilo. <laughs> Uh, What's a fuck ton? Perhaps. Big amount. So oh. I think, um, you know how like sometimes there's like something that's just enormous? Yes, everything. Mm -hmm. So twice what, you, twice what you're thinking and then eight times bigger than that, that's a fuck ton. Wow. That is <laughs> fucking amazing. Mm, yeah. So, uh, I mean, Did if I you got a knife, right? you can. We could probably cut Did cut one of these in like quarters, and then uh, and then refashion it. That works we'll out. Have, like arms and stuff, but that's fine. We'll we'll figure out what we need. If if does it cost anything? What do we owe you? Uh don't worry about it. You're sure? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just uh, if, if anyone's like, oh my god, that was my thing, don't tell them that you got it from me. Fair enough. So Kriya's still going to drop a gold piece onto the bar. Oh. Mm. Always tip your bartender. Ain't that the fucking truth? Let's <laughs> grab it. Thank right. you, uh, Mr. Um... Mr. Um, Mr. Um's fine. Okay. I like new nick. I like new nicknames. Thank you, Mr. Um. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Fuckton. Fuckton. I like it. Um, it's you. Or we meet you, I should say. You were just in here. So. Oh yeah, I I knew that. Get them on. We'll give Sator his when he gets back. Okay. Um. He is coming back, right? We sh Well, once we get our cloaks on, we can keep a better eye on him. Okay, okay. I already used my invisibility today. Mm. Yeah, we still haven't taken a rest. <laughs> no. Just a short rest. This is short. That does okay. no good for me. <laughs> but, well, a short rest is good because that means Dave gave me my powers back. Bling, bling. So, Satir, you should continue right. to kind of be part of this line. Um, there's a, uh, a, another of those moat-like flashes that goes up in the air. And as a, essentially in response to all of what just happened, see, were they there for you? What if this was worse? 
Did they show up to help? And that message disappears. And the second house. And over the next few moments or so, few minutes or so, there's no longer a fire. There's just a large dust cloud uh, that is um, a little bit hard to breathe into. Does the group that I'm helping with water, um, do they act like uh, people passed away in the buildings? Or does it look more like they were trying to protect the fire from spreading? Um, you get the sense there's a, kind of a bit of a chatter as um, the gentleman that you spoke with a little earlier is kind of circum circling back a little bit and he kind of is just speaking to everyone. Uh, it looks like things are strangely all, all right. Um, I don't think that anyone's been in there for a while. And one of the others, um, this kind of um, small, smaller, actually, right about your size, um, elvish um, uh, female that is um, one of the guardsmen. It's like, I know previously there was, um, there was, we used to have to kick a, f you know, a few of these, a few kids out. Um, used to be used as a small dormitory for a school, but it hasn't been that way for years. Um, but kids like to explore abandoned buildings. Uh, so we definitely will need to, Check it out and see. But hopefully everything's okay. I, I, I hope so. It's too bad we couldn't save the buildings. Honestly, it probably should have been demolished years ago anyway. To be frank, it was... Um, we actually tried to talk the magistrate into demolishing it before. You know, what do they call... Historic monuments. Good riddance. Hmm. Well, at least we tried. At least it did spread. There's only two buildings have oh. sacrificed. Yeah, thanks for thanks for coming in and helping. Typically folks are running away from it, not joining in the fray, so to speak. But uh, that's what um that's what that's what you uh you and your friends do, yeah? I recognize you. Hey, well, it's one of those things you learn when you're on a boat. You you, you see something, you, you lend a hand, because it's otherwise the boat sinks. Pardon if I'm over. This is overreaching, but what the hell did y'all do to these guys anyway? I. It's a good question. I would like to know too. Um, we uh, have never. We met once, and the and they threw axe at me. To tell you the honest truth, oh, it, we never met with aggression until they they started with aggression. So, I would love to know. Uh, hmm. One of their members actually came at me directly with aggression, and I told them to not. So hmm. I, I would like to know why we they're so dead set at aggression and violence when. Our group is nothing but peace. Well, if there's any consolation, you seem like a pretty good chap to me. I appreciate that. If you, you wouldn't mind passing it along, it'd be great. Um, yeah, any, any, any publicity is good publicity, right? Well, uh, actions speak a lot of words, if I know, if, if I do say so. Hmm. Satira, right? I sit here. Uh, she, she reaches out a kind of gauntleted arm. Um, end it. Uh, I, I'm horrible with names. Uh, Endin? End, end it. You... Yep, end like it. end, like your beginning, middle, end, and then it. End it. I yeah. thank you. My dad sucks at names. I don't take it personally if you can't figure it out. No, no I that helps immensely end it. Thank you. I very much. Cool. And kind of as you guys are having this conversation, like the crowd is beginning to kind of disperse and suddenly so go back to a regularly scheduled evening programming. 
And with that, I uh, kind of check on everybody around to make sure they're all okay and just kind of be the not necessarily obvious about being a peacekeeper, but at least taking care of the group or the, of the water bearers and everybody else that was around. Got it. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and over the course of the next kind of, you know, probably, uh, I don't know how, you're, how long you're at it, maybe an hour or so. Um, yeah, about an hour-ish. An hour or so. Um, you, there's definitely some appreciation um, with a kind of a seasoning of confusion of like, what, what the fuck was this all about? Um, but seems to be okay. Um, there is one person in particular, though, that um, this kind of um, smaller, kind of bald um, human that uh, has this like goatee and um, kind of very dark brown eyes that uh, comes up to you and actually um, kind of puts a hand on your shoulder. And there's like a, like, you know how like when, <laughs> when someone kind of smells bad, like there's like, it's not like typically a, like an overwhelming thing. It's like a whiff and they're and like, sometimes there's like a hint of like sulfur coming off of this guy. And he just says, thanks. And then kind of gives you a wink and uh, and begins to walk away. Thanks. Hey, sir, what do you mean by thanks? Does he respond? He spins around kind of like as he's walking backwards now, but still facing you. Yeah. You do... Uh, you do a thankless job. I, I appreciate that. Um, thank you. Be seeing you. Uh, did I notice uh, when he was obviously that close, did I catch any details of his face or? Yeah, um, there's a, kind of a scar over his left eye. Um, but the strangest thing is that, like the eyes were as, almost as dark brown, like almost like they were just black eyes. Like it, like it was just a hint of a shade of lighter. Uh, and as he, hmm, make a perception check actually. Okay, uh, um, let's see. 18. Ooh, okay. Let me switch this up here. So, um, and as as he sort of uh, spins back around, you see like he's got like this weirdly this sort of like translucent red aura around him. And you, as he spins around, that red aura kind of seems to be like attached almost like a tail and kind of goes somewhere underneath the cobblestone um, pavement. Very weird. Okay. With that interaction, could, would I be able to do any in, sort of like insight off of those comments to see if there's any other intention in that comment? Sure. Yeah, go ahead and make an insight check. Uh, 15. Mm. Does it seem slide or anything like that, or does it seem... It was overly sugary, for sure. And what was really really strange about just his demeanor is it just seemed it felt off like you're like he kind of walks out of sight and like you know your sweaty senses are going off a little bit mm -hmm. Hmm. you can't really place specifically what's bothering you because whatever this is is uh whatever he is is it's hard to read but um 
kind of a tale of two cities, you know, a person that's warmed up to you and someone that warmed up to you without you really even doing anything. Mm -hmm. I, I, Barrett, I think there's something that, uh, up with that particular one. She, something's funny in this little old town. And if everyone is taken care of, um, check my gear, make sure everything's still attached, mm -hmm. and head back inside. All right. Devin. You've given folks instruction on where to meet, but where are you headed? Uh, Devin was initially going to head to where the fire was. Hmm. Um, so do I see the sky riding? Um, yeah. Um, do I get a, I mean, I'm not really ar arcane knowledgeable. Um, so seeing that he is going to double back to where they left the body of the man that he shot in the knee. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let out. Yes. Um, that, in the knee, right? Definitely in the, in the knee. knee. I in was the saving knee. for his knee, his kidney. Definitely in the knee. Yep. Um, is the body still there? So you takes you a few moments. Um, you have to sort of the cloud disbursement, cloud, the crowd disbursement, um, sort of, um, even though you're very much Assassin's Creed moving through, um, it takes you a while to get there. Um, but the body that's because it was in the trash can, right? Yep. Um, you make your way up back over. It takes you a few moments to kind of locate the trash can because the the air is still pretty nasty. Uh, but you do see a body. I would like to examine the body and see okay. if it has any distinct markings on it, specifically sure. a sun. Sure. Make an investigation check. Investigation. Uh, that is a 15. A 15? Yep. So you kind of look around, moving all around his, um, his clothing, um, covered in crimson. Um, no markings. Okay. Um, I will stuff the body back in the trash can. Oscar the Grouch. Yep. Um, and Devin, uh, did Pepper ride on Devin? Or is Pepper doing her own thing? Uh, Pepper oh. is probably going to, uh, like, be tailing you, you know, but doesn't want to disrupt your um your abilities and whatnot so you probably um, stealth better without her on your shoulder and you know okay so i will stealth back to the castle because i want to talk to king jacob mm, interessante so you are leaving the city cool good to know all right well i mean i'm going to the castle i mean that's not really leaving the city yeah, it is. This thing, yeah, it is. <laughs> the castle is completely separate from the city, if you look at the map. And I will do it stealthily. Sure. Uh... With a itty bitty studio dragon. Uh, that is only a 17. Oh no! We broke oh, no. that in! <laughs> well, to, and, and just to, I mean, it's something to think about. It is like three two three in the morning now so just yeah okay just making sure so uh so yeah you begin to head 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 out uh so pepper got a 23 pepper is damn <laughs> you nailed it it's like see that's the thing about pseudo dragons they they, they take they just take and they take and they take <laughs> okay so let me check back in with uh, Zakria, Rilo, and uh, and Warscreen. 
Um, Devin's 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 leaving the city. Um, Pepper's Pepper's getting out of out of range. You would see him look toward the castle if Pepper's like paying attention. Are you are you uh, are you taking the time, Rilo, to uh, shift into into pseudo dragon mode? Uh, yeah. Enough. Um, um, at least as uh, yeah, if, if Devin's leaving the city, then I'm definitely gonna shift over and try to um, figure out his intended destination. Those are big words. Right. <laughs> well, um, so I'm going to do a little something, something, Maddie, because. Okay. Since you you gave me a gift to eat last night, I'm going to return the favor. And if you would like to speak through and chat with Devin, <clears throat> but I will also make the same caveat that you gave me yesterday yes, as well. Yes. And fair. <laughs> it has to be. So it has to sound absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So, it has to be a funny voice. Yeah. It has yeah. to be a funny voice. So, okay. Um, hold on. <clears throat> um, oh my god, do I want to use my pepper voice though? Um, <laughs> I think I will. Um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah. Mm. Devin, what are you doing, Devin? I don't think that's uh, uh, very good. You really shouldn't leave the city. It's it's not good. It's 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 bad. Do, do I? Is this coming out of Pepper? Yes, it is. It's coming out of Pepper. I'm Pepper, but I'm not. I'm Rallo. Uh. I'm going to call their bluff. I'm going to ask the king to set up a kind of airing of the grievances. With the CNBC? With the CNBC, they're uh, terrorists. They, they attack the city. If they don't show up, it shows that they're cowards with nothing but terrorist tactics. But the king, it's not safe. I'm the only one that's going to be there. The rest of you are going to follow through with the plan. No, Devin. You're one of us. You can't You can't just leave. No. I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm just keeping you all safe. I have to keep the people that I care about safe. Okay. You want to... All right. You want to know... You want to get some Rilo truth up in here? Okay. Um. So... The best way to help your friends is to also stay alive because you're very important to us. But don't. You can't sacrifice yourself for us. It's not how it works. No. I'm not sacrificing myself. I'm just keeping you at bay. If they try anything, if the king doesn't act, the people will see this and know that something is wrong with the king. If they try anything funny at an airing of the grievances, then it just proves what we already know. That their their grievances have no merit. They just want a station and a title and to make us look bad. Um, hold on. Uh that was a lot of words. And um Zakria, I, I'm um I'm talking to Devin. And I'm very confused. He's... I don't know. Um, wait, can you repeat that? I'm setting a trap. Setting a trap. Devin setting a trap. But I can't hear Zakria right now. I can only hear you. So, she may be responding. I can't tell. I really don't. I really don't know. Rilo, I'm going to be fine, I promise you. I wouldn't let anything happen to me because if 
anything happens to me, who's going to keep you from getting in trouble? Uh, where's Gray? Who's going to keep worse Gray from getting you both in trouble? Uh, no one. Well, okay. Pepper. Revolving door. <laughs> uh, I love you too, Devin. Please, um, hurry back. Uh, the king is very scary. Call Pepper back. I'll be fine. Okay. Um. And not thinking that Pepper, um, is still, like, Rilo is still tuned in. Yeah. He's gonna say, I can't believe I almost said that to her. And continue walking. The drop of the, the mic. I see you. All right. Oh, oh my God, that was so weird. Um, I'm Are still not okay? used to doing that. Yeah. Um. Uh. So ooh, there's a thing with the with Pepper and stuff that I can like see through her eyes, and um, apparently I can talk through her. So I was having a conversation with Devin oh. and Devin's going to the king um, to call CNBC to set a trap um, to protect us and a whole lot of other stuff I really didn't catch. It was, it was, it was kind of a lot. <laughs> um, Devin not realizing that poor Rilo only has a sip in wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Happens. But, um, um, he promised that he wouldn't, I don't know, like, he's trying to keep it safe and all stuff, but he's gonna come back, I don't know. I'm worried. I don't like, I don't know, the king, the king, the king. I'm scared of the king. We should all be. Um, we, um, we need I, to stick to the plan. We the, seldom make plans and stick to them. I, I'm curious, because, um, you know, I don't really understand the plan, but um, are we planning to go into the thingy again and, and go to a different time? I think we just need a safe place to discuss what our plans are. Oh, right. Right. So we don't, we don't fully know. So this place that Devin wants us to go to, um, <clears throat> it would probably be best to have the conversation there, away from okay. prying eyes and ears. Right. Oh. Um. So let's do that. Yes. Can we go get the tour. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's gather him up, give him his cloak, and leave as quickly and quietly as we can. Okay. At this point, Satir, you, uh, you walk into the walk into the pier. Little smoky, little coffee. <coughs> yeah. Those, uh, we lost two buildings out there. Thank you for doing something. It doesn't sit well with me, but Stick out with the sun. Here's a cloak. All right. Right away, you whispering. We have to be quiet. We have to leave. She said we had to be quiet. Aye, uh, but we're in a tavern and everybody else is hollering and having drinks, right? Everyone you has don't need... ears. I, I kind of look around. Is is everybody minding their own business and not even looking at us? Make a perception check. A seven. We all look weird. Um. Okay. Right. Seven. We're not normal. Not according to the human folk, no. I mean, I'm not normal. I'm from Lobra, so, like, really not no normal. 
Oh God, the king's gonna kill. I, 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 right, Lou. You, you look a little different, but I mean, I look like I should be here. So some. We need to get going. We need to leave quietly, quickly. Can you talk about our plans? Yes. We need a long discussion I... about that. Oh, okay. Where, where, where are we going? Devin I... gave me instructions. De- I, well, then let's go. Let's see, We're let's... going. Yeah. I'm tired oh. and wet and smoky. Let's. Oh, you are wet. Here, let me... Uh... <laughs> well, I d- don't know. Not now. Let's do it later on the road. Let's let's yes. just go. We not in town anymore. I'm no magic in town the... anymore. Oh right. Oh yeah. Uh... None. Yeah. Hey, uh, about laying low. Go. We'll have a discussion about that later. Uh... Hey, okay. Do do we need to have horses and carts and stuff, or are we just walking? I can. I've got one more spell left in me. To uh, that get a steed going. Low. Once we the get common folk, walk. <laughs> uh, yes, so we'll walk out of here as quickly as we can, as quietly as we can, and then once we're out of town, I can summon my. What time is it, Jacob? Thing. Do we have an uh, idea of what time it is? Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, it's almost three in the morning. I, I well, then we better be walking quickly because it is past curfew. Even if there's a curfew here. Um, yes. Um, that's why we Rilo, have the I'm figuring. You and War can go together. She can fly. She can take you. Yeah. I'll take Sator on my okay. mount. Okay. Um, I think so. Uh, Pepper is on her way back. Uh, yeah. She'll find me. Hello. Okay. So Let's get walking. So a couple couple notes to, to, to validate here. So um, the home that Devin was referring to, but, well, the one that you all procured um, from the boss, the one that was just brought up today, both of those are in town. So you mentioned being going out of town. So where are you going? Right. Um, the one Devin brought up is in town. Okay. Um, we're going there, so we don't need mounts for that. Okay. We're, yeah. So look, we're going. We're going specifically there. Okay. So Zakria is going to lead the way. Good Not going to gonna stealth as much as she's just going to try to appear as commonplace as she can with a hood up at three in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Sounds She's just wonderful. As casual as possible. <clears throat> sure, sure. Uh, There's still a, a avoid, kind of a, uh, yeah. Go ahead. I was gonna say maybe avoiding guards patrol. I considering Zakria's profession, would she be able to pinpoint where the guards typically patrol with relative ease? Um. Yeah. This time of night, it's pretty regular. Um. You would know that. Typically, there are checkpoints all around the city, and typically they try to hit the sixth minute of every hour for every checkpoint. So there's always like a staggered like place for every about twenty or thirty minutes or so. Okay. Um. So. So Devin, where where uh, where is what district is this house? Uh, it was in the southern district because he has he has he has a house in each district that he goes to each month and yeah. drops money off to the, the the surviving family members of people he lost. Got it. And uh, so yeah, so yeah, so um, you all make your way um, a bit to the south from where you guys are right now, but to the south in the in the southwest um, doesn't take you very long, probably about a. 20 30 minute walk at the most um if you're being if you're taking your sweet time um and this particular um neighborhood is fairly well put together in comparison to say the north side or the west side for example um and uh the particular neighborhood that you find yourselves in is pretty pretty familiar to you Zakria, and kind of is 
like almost the, the accent version of where your 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 establishment is. Um, but it is a uh, fairly large uh, two story uh, two story house. Um, the kind of outer trim is kind of goldenrod, um, and uh, you know. Most of Javali is very teal black and gold, but this one's a little bit less so. Almost like it's like v the volume of it is turned down a little bit. Like it's almost like it's like very light splashes um, of these different colors. Um, but the insignia that Dev mentioned is right, uh, right on top, right on top of the door. What is what does the insignia look like, Devin? Uh, it is basically um, the uh, caret family emblem along with an elven inscription that says all friends are welcome nice is the door locked uh yeah the, the door will be locked they would have to knock and demille would probably answer the door if if favor doesn't because favor likes to answer the door because she always thinks it's uncle or he always thinks it's uncle Devin. okay cool Good to know. So, um, what'd you guys like to do? Yeah, Zakria's gonna knock. She was told there would be people here. It'd be the polite thing to do. Yep. Uh, and you can, like, there's like, you you hear from the, uh, the inside, there's a it's kind of small, like, um, and you hear, you hear just, uh, like this, like almost like something is like sliding up against the door. Just a minute. And just, oh, good day. Uh, hi. I don't think, and he, like the door begins to close just a little bit. We're oh. friends of Devin. He told us to come here. There so like the, the door kind of closes most mostly. Like there's it's almost like a, like a just like the eye hole and like the like this portion of the, of the face. It's like it's essentially a pretty close resemblance uh, to Devin. Um, not quite as sun kissed skin, um, being that Devin has been out and about for the majority. Um, but you actually can see like on this child's back. There looks to be like these like toy um, toy daggers, and out in front is this large like toy crossbow. That's kind of like so the the, the, the bow portion is to the back, and the actual um, I don't even know how what the word is the string or <laughs> whatever the fuck it's called uh, is to the front. And uh, it's like um, I don't think that you where look, is he at? You look like where? little Devin. Hey. We're the peacemakers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where Uncle works. But um, I I feel like he would just like let me know that already. Well, he said but... there was trouble that we could come here. Yeah. He's not with us. He's going to the king. And that's not good. Okay. Hey, don't be scared, though, young man, lad. Um, well, is your parents invisible? <laughs> It's like it's 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 sweet. good to be truthful to kids. They uh, appreciate honesty. Children will listen. What? <laughs> it's an old adage my father used to say. Okay. Um give me like two seconds. Take your time. And like you hear like <clears throat> <clears throat> I okay. shouldn't be telling the littles about things like bigger things like that. It's a parent thing. I, I don't know anything about being a parent. I don't think, do I? <laughs> no. No. No, I would know that. I think. I would mean, hope so, Rilo. The door know. creaks open. Shh. Has asleep and he's got a big day tomorrow. So like, I I, put, I set up like a bunch of the couches downstairs. Oh, That's just fine. Thank you're you. So nice. Shh. Open the door. 
And we're going to go in as quietly as possible. Beautiful. So um, you all kind of come into and uh, to this this pretty fairly fairly decently sized foyer, um, and you actually see on the left hand side there are pictures of um, a what appears to be um, kind of a smaller version of of Devin, a infant version of this child, as well as um, a few folks, uh, a female, uh, uh, a fairly older looking gentleman, um, and a few folks that you don't really recognize, but, uh, and you kind of come in and like up against this like sofa is these like, th like three love seats and like they're like toppled over. Uh, it's like a, like the worst like Tetris game of all time. And they're all like connected together. Um, and there's like blankets all around them. Oh, this is so cool. Um, is the, is the kid about my size? Yeah, a little, actually like a, an inch or two taller than you, actually. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um, hey, um, I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Yeah, I didn't give it. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so I see like you like to, you know, look like Devin and stuff. Um... Um, it might be a little tight, but, um, here, I have this, um, it's like leather armor and what, yeah, you can look more That is like, so cool. Shit. That is so cool. I, I don't, I don't use it. Um, and I'm tired of carrying it around in my backpack. So, um, and you can it just, look, it just takes it from you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's complicated, but, you know. Can you, can you get this part? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's like, it swallows him completely. <laughs> but he kind of just, like, puffs his chest a little bit. Looks really good. Thanks. Protector of the house. There you go. I now you're safe. All right, I'm gonna go make sure that my dad didn't wake up because now that I've yelled at y'all, I've probably did something wrong. So, uh. Well, if he is awake, do tell him that we're here so that he doesn't come downstairs and expect this place to be empty. Yeah, but I wasn't supposed to let you in, so I don't really want to get in trouble. Even though, like, the thing says the thing, like, typically, like, it's <laughs> a conversation, you know, not at three in the morning. It's okay. Fair enough. Um, I mean, like emergencies is, are emergencies, but you know, I don't really know what really this good about. at talking to people. She can talk to them in the morning. Oh, right. Okay. All right. I'll be back to check on y'all later. And he. Sweet kid. Oh. I guess we just wait here for Devin. He says in three days' time, if he's not back, we leave. I, I have a feeling we're not. We may or may not be uh, staying here for three days, depending on how uh, Devin's relative feels uh, about us. Uh, I guess I'm with we'll, you there. Well, I'll worry about that in the morning, I guess. We hey. need to sleep. Oh. Um, I think my plan, personally, in the morning is to require supplies we need a wagon we need um tents we need to get the hell out of here i don't care where we go we just need to go uh, maybe uh, not a wagon but we need a way to, to leave to move quickly hey williams are slow you know i let's let's not worry about where to get in the morning uh, until the morning we don't know what we're where we're going at this point, other than we need to go somewhere. Let's just rest up and we'll figure it out in the morning because things can change quickly. Okay. There's pl plenty of places to get all our supplies. Fair enough. I'll 
I know we're here in this house. I'm still going to take watch. I, uh, I'll take a second watch then, I guess, for however long that may be. Probably do you mind the last watch? War is difficult to get up in the morning. Oh, I know. <laughs> He's already asleep. Totally. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's She's fine. She's had a big day. That's fine. I'll, um, I'll just, um, I'll curl up next to him. I'll go. Wait. <laughs> Good night. Oh, I, well. Good night. So, okay, you're up first? Yes. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot to talk to Dave. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna... Restless? Uh, it's just a little... There's a few things that happened in the line that made me a little surprised. Um, by chance, do you know, uh, Dare, did you have any interactions with End It? End It. Does that name ring a bell for me? Jacob? Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, um, not, like, the name sounds familiar. Um, just kind of comings and goings. Um, not acquainted, but um, they're actually a sort of a guard um, captain in, in Arlington, typically. Oh. Yeah. I've, I hear tell of them here and there. Nothing, mm. nothing bad from what I can recall. But I, it's not much. It's, well, it's just kind of an odd moment with, with that particular guard. She, as I was assisting the uh, uh, it was I was picked out obviously enough um, and had that moment of you know questioned of why are they asking us and why are they have such a grudge against us and I didn't have an answer we never I, have. I. That's why I said, and I was like, you know, I don't understand the aggression when all we have is peace in mind. Some people are worried what peace means. Sometimes uh, peace is at the expense of others. I just worry that we're on the wrong side of things, and we don't know it. We could we're very well be. You know, being being puppeted in the wrong way. Well, also consider that when we went out, when we made our trek to save the queen, our first trek together, we didn't do it with anything in mind other than saving the queen. When we figured out the terms, when we figured out what was going on, didn't really matter what was at stake. We wanted to make peace, and we wanted our queen alive. That's what mattered. We didn't want anybody dead. Aye. Well, that's how we've been trying to follow that edict. It's just... hey, there's something that just doesn't feel right. Yeah. And Mary Sue and Bert, they, they, they keep itching at me for things, and I just don't know what's wrong. And I unbuckle them, and I set them down. I just, there's just something wrong and I don't know what it is. Hmm. Maybe it's nothing. No. It's going to kill us. Hmm. It, it can't be nothing if we all have the feeling in our gut. Those gut feelings, those gut reactions are what you're supposed to pay attention to because that's what keeps you alive. Hey, but I mean, it's the four of us saying it. I just don't know. Wasn't Bert's just usually four so, of us. Uh, I mean, sorry. I mean, when it's all of us, yes. There's something big going on here. There's power to be had somewhere in keeping war, in keeping a fight. You can't change greedy. 
Oh, bro. Hey, <laughs> right, well. I think this is the most peace he's ever kept. <laughs> it's definitely the quietest he is. Okay. Get your sleep. Bye. Hello. I'll see you in a few hours. Hi. As these thoughts beckon as your compatriots head to sleep, Sakria, go ahead and make a perception check, please, for your watch. Do, 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 do. That is a 22. 22. So um, the small murmurs of snores down um, downstairs, or here, I should say, um, continue to beckon. There is also uh, seemingly um, kind of some footsteps upstairs, kind of to the the upper right hand corner of this of this building um next sort of catches your eye for a moment but then it seems to subside and your watch continues without any sort of issue okay um you wanted to do during it yes she is going to take a minute to pray to her goddess to malora Mm -hmm. Um, just not not with any intent, just other than keeping Devin safe, keeping everybody here safe, and a quiet, solemn prayer for what she assumes would be Horace's soul. Good and to know. right at the end there, she'd probably spend a few minutes like picking some some leaves off of her cloak to feed it to her beetle, and then she'd wake uh, Satur. Okay. So Satur, you're up. Hi. So... Go ahead and make a perception check. Perception. 23. 23. Damn, y'all rolling some Devon-like numbers tonight. I know, right? <laughs> My, he, he's been in the house the whole time. No. Um, <clears throat> so yours, uh, the actual, uh, you're almost stunned by how, how quiet it is um, as it's now getting into the fives and sixes um, in the morning. And um, you begin to hear the sounds of nature, birds, um, Flitting around, um, even this far, even though obviously Duvalier being a coastal city, um, typically you don't hear the seagulls as far in. Um, but um, in this case, you do, which is a little strange. Um, but you still can't get over, you know, what that, uh, you know, just those conversations that you had um, with those folks outside. Do they mean something? Remains to be seen. But your watch also continues without much further, unless there's something that you wanted to do as well. Uh, so the only thing that I'd be doing, uh, obviously, uh, other than watching my compatriots, making sure they're all taken care of, and there's no um, nothing standing out for that I would need to wake them over, okay. uh, I would take a minute and converse with Mary Sue and Bert and uh, just before yeah I'd probably still have Sue in my hand as I woke Rilo up okay and I'd jostle Rilo up and go hey oi Rilo Rilo hey hey, oi it's your hey it's your turn fart fart hi hi Sue how you doing Okay. Oi, it's time. It's your turn. I know. I get it. Um, and 
Yeah, Satur. We are on the wrong side. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Get some sleep. Hey. By the way, Bert thinks you're good. I'm going back to bed. I like Bert. Mary's got sass. Hey, you haven't heard the last of it. Just wait till she finds you. Oh, boy. I don't want to... I don't know. Oh. Okay. Um, what would you know? I don't know. <sighs> so, Rilo, as your, your watch begins... Go ahead and make a perception check. I was uh, really good at these. I would like to cast <laughs> guidance. <laughs> Probably smart. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Bitch, I got a plus one for perception, okay? I have a seven wisdom, but I am I am proficient in perception, so you know. <laughs> um so let's see how this goes. There's the roll. Oh, not bad. And then a D4 on top of that. Two. Okay. So that was uh, 16. 16. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Hey. Yeah, pretty good for Rallo. So, um, <laughs> your, your first hour uh, goes off without much fervor. And you, you kind of, you're kind of scanning around the the hustle and bustle of the city is beginning. Um, but then to, you kind of look to your right and there suddenly is a tall human man with a, where it is, with a red bandana, scruffy brown hair, full beard. Did I have a long rest? No. But I... No. Oh, no. no. This is not good. Large, like, Hawaiian shirt with spectacles <laughs> right, right here. Hey, man. Hi. You know all this praying. I thought I would stop by. What? <laughs> yeah. Dave's not here, man. What? Yeah. You know, you've been praying all this time, and so I, I thought I would come, you know, pay a visit. Dave? Yeah, in the flesh. Oh, my God. I did not realize you were so large. Um, well, to be fair, I mean, you say, it, you say it yourself all the time, right? I mean, everything is large. I mean. That's true. Everything is so big. I don't know if I would so go so far as to call myself a fuck ton, but you know. <laughs> oh, I would never call you a fuck ton, Dave. That would be rude. Oh, thanks, man. Anyway, so yeah, so you've been you've been reaching out and stuff, and uh, you know, I've been kind of doing the typical patron thing where I'm just like, <sighs> but you know, I, I figured it was high time to uh, see how uh, things were going. You know. Um. You think they mind if I? <laughs> oh, I I don't know. Um, I, I I don't know these people very well. Um, their kid looks just like a little version of Devin, and it's really cute. Um, but um, I'm really fascinated by this place. And I don't want to go back to Lobra, but... No? I'm why not, man? Well, you know why not. Stop it. I mean, but it's your home, bro. It's awful. Awful. That's a matter of opinion and circumstance, my man. But they also... That's okay. Um, so the king is being a dick, and... Yeah? Um, he's, like, I don't know, looking for magic users and um people that are different like us and stuff and 
the bridge i'm not i'm not the sharpest tool in the shed but i don't know i no, feel like that song's great right you should listen to it totally but i think the um Bards, man Bards. the um the bridge being rebuilt uh, yeah i uh, connecting the two kingdoms it's fucking harmony man i think the king's gonna do something what didn't just peace just happened yeah That'd but he's wild. bad he's a bad person And even though I don't want to go back to Lobra and I don't want to be seeing anybody from Lobra because you know why. Um, yeah. I don't want anything bad to happen to Lobra because it's a good place. Yeah. Without Lobra, we wouldn't have met, man. We wouldn't have like, got like connected. Right. Um, I think we're gonna go to a different time or something. Yeah, Have you done that. That's gnarly. Kind of an every time, so it's a bit of like a blink and I'm here and I blink and I'm kind of there. Whoa, I know. Like when I misty step. Oh man, yeah. But like through time. Cause I gotta make sure that like you don't like just like go into like seven different pieces, yo. That's... Cause like sometimes I'm like busy doing something else or I'm doing like paperwork and then I'm like, oh no, man, he's doing the busy step again. Oh snap, I gotta go over there and make sure that you're okay. It's a it's a lot of work. Um well, you know, um it's okay though, you, bro. You're worth it. You're worth it. I am really. Would I be sitting here on this couch without it? Come on, man. I guess uh, that's true. Um, yeah. What? Why are you here, Dave? Um, well, I just wanted to make it. I was. Uh, I had a bit of a break from the, you know the day to day office politics, and so mm -hmm. I just wanted to check in and see how things were going. That reminds Sounds like me. a lot. What's a Rolodex? Oh yeah, it's one of those. Uh, here, and he like snaps his fingers, and <laughs> an actual a big ass Rolodex pops in, and you actually see it's like yeah, like sometimes when I need to like hang like call like Paylor, like I just kind of like <laughs> here, and like um, sometimes when you have like that those weird like warm crosswinds, Melora's like trying to call in and then i gotta like make sure to move the dials and oh it's just a pain in the ass i don't understand any of that but Lazy. um i it's mean i said that she'll kill me i understood the religious parts um but i don't understand any of the other stuff um okay that's okay you're learning i think i am i don't know i have a good i have a good feeling about all of this i really do Okay, well, then I do too. Great! And he raises up and gives you the high five. And as soon as you make impact, he disappears. <sighs> Wasn't that cool? You just hear it in your head and it just goes off. Oh my God, where you should have saw that. Stop snoring. <laughs> okay. Mm. As um, yeah. Your watch concludes. There, you look up and you realize that um, a small, familiar uh, human figure was just like, who are you? Like just kind of like from the like sitting from the stairs, was watching you talk to no one, mm. and it just is like. Hi. Cuckoo, and just runs up the stairs. That's rude. Um, I mean, I was gonna give you a dagger too. God. 
Not anymore. Can't dare give that child a dagger. I, I, <laughs> I mean, that's what Rila would do. He's not wise. Um, so I and, love Rila so much. And he just wants to fit in with the cool kids. Um, but the rudeness, I think I might just set his butt on fire or something. <laughs> Maybe. But yes. But yes, you will not all have the benefits of a long rest, but as you all get to rest for the day, Devin, considering the time that you left stealthing on foot, it would take you about now. Um, so you're, um, you're, as you kind of get to the castle, I'd probably say, unless you're going to take a long rest now, you're probably going to have a point of exhaustion as you head to the castle. Uh, he will take a point of exhaustion. Okay. I figured that might be the case. So, um, as, uh, you get to the castle, um, there is a sort of a nod, uh, to you as the double doors, um, open and the, you are, um, you have the very familiar set of steps that go up into the throne room, um, down to the barracks, down to the castle, up to the other towers as, um, as per usual. Um, so where, where are you headed? Uh, he is headed up to where the main audience room is because he wants to get there with the Seneschal and All right. ask for a meeting with the king because he has very important matters of the state to discuss with the king and possibly okay. solving a conflict. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, well... Oh, interesting, because I, I knew that already. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so you absolutely um, can give that a whirl. And so we, um, the actual throne room itself is actually um, occupied already. The king and queen are already um, at, um, you actually seem to, once again, uh, be in the middle of a, a something, I'll say. Uh, you kind of the you you are even led into um, the the audience chamber, and you actually hear the king uh, with his traditional. <laughs> oh, I love being a morning person, my dear. It is going to be a lovely, lovely day. Uh, I just oh, it just feels really, really good. Um, in now, unlike last time where he was full in his teal and uh, teal and black armor uh, with sword out. Um, he's actually in what appears to be very, like, I won't say plans clothes. He still has a, a suit on, um, but it almost looks like he's about to go to prom. Uh, so it's pretty ridiculous looking. Like, without the jacket, like, he's got, like, the um, the vest and uh, and and actually, and kind of the shirt, vest shirt with slacks. It's like, anyway, so uh, as we get ready to make our final uh, details ready for the, uh, this is like to, to an audience of about, about eight or nine folks um, all kind of have like these large pieces of paper out. Um, any final uh, checklists in just in case, because we wanna make sure that our, our very first a very first fair um, sponsoring piece is going to be a okay uh, without any problems, and uh, and someone just kind of speaks up, uh, sir. There was actually a a a fire uh, last night, so before we start talking about the fair, uh, uh, can we can we maybe bring that up for business first? And he kind of just puts a hand up. Was anyone hurt? Uh, I we're we're looking into it. Well, until someone was hurt. We can place that in the folder of, I don't care until I need to. So back to the fair, way more important things. Oh, Devin, hey, my good man. Always a pleasure. Uh, anything you want to you want to make sure that's on the menu for uh, for the uh, the feast at the end of the fair? Actually, your your king, my great king. Um, I come oh, to you oh, me? very. No. Bearing a bit of bad news, I do think that what, who is, do I know the individual that brought up the, the fire last night? Do they look familiar to me? You kind of, you kind of scan around, um, and it does. It, um, you haven't seen him in a while, 
uh, but you recognize uh, the uh, the chancellor. Um, he was the chancellor that you all um, saved uh, when you uh, found out the true culprit uh, that took the queen and kidnapped. Um, and he's wearing his traditional, almost like like strange beret kind of combo chef's hat with a kind of long flowing looking gown um, of, of teal and gold. And uh, uh, he just kind of just has like kind of a frown on his face, but acknowledges you as well. The chancellor's uh, topic of conversation um, is a bit more complicated, um, having a bit of insight as to what's going on I'm here because of that fire, and I would like to ask you to send out uh, pages and heralds to invite the CNBC to sit down with me and discuss their grievances in a neutral, non-hostile site to see if we can work through this because they performed terrorist acts last night, destroying a building of natural history, I guess one would say, um, trying to make the peacekeepers look bad. And I don't want any grievances between the two of us. I think that this can be another way to open the celebration of this magnificent fair that you have planned. Um, mm. And while Devin is doing this, he's trying to see if he can get the queen's attention nonchalantly because he sure. wants to have a word with her in private if he can possibly get that at some point gotcha uh well you you know what happened last time it was uh poo pooed so um but um he'll kind of respond and kind of he'll kind of stand up on the uh, throne and kind of be in a pace well uh from what i understand Devin, um, they're just a bit of riff off kind of talking smack uh which is is fine. It's not illegal to talk shit. Um, but it is fair. Legal. The oh, go wrong. ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you, King. Of course you are. Uh, but the problem is, of course, is uh, or they actually solved the problem for me. To be very honest with you, um, it was going to take. You know, it's really expensive to safely demolish these or preserve them uh, for the you know the upcoming museum of science and history that I've been thinking about. Uh, but now we don't have to worry about that because they're gone. So now we can proceed as normal uh, without it costing anything to the crown. Uh, my ch chancellor will be, should be really happy about that because we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff now. I don't see a big, I don't see it as a big deal to be honest with you. It is and, an um, attack on the crown, your highness, regardless of whether it saved you money that would have been you know had to have been spent to demolish these buildings it is still attack on the crown it is attack on servants of the crown so and you mean to tell me he'll kind of walk forward a little bit you mean to tell me that as early as it is that you you think that they are trying to come after me really i would but that's walk. what i have you guys for I Why do I have to worry I... about that? Well, if we can deal with <laughs> things as we have done in the past peacefully and be peacekeepers, they have on several occasions attacked members. You know, that's funny, actually. <sighs> yeah, you guys are on vacation. This is like, you shouldn't even be, be here. You should be having a good time, probably hanging out in K-Dub or something. Whew. Just can't, can't can't, you know, you are talking about work-life balance, maybe. You, the uh, others are. The others are on vacation. I oh, can't Devin. put my work down. That's why I can never be tied down. I, res I respect that so much. Uh, having said that, I will, I will, I promise, I will give it some thought. And uh, if you have any more information that would maybe change my mind right now i'm still i'm okay but if there is any more information I inside him yeah go for it
Tasha's heating up. That's a 24. 24. Natural um, 20. Natural 20. So, you already really don't trust the king anyway. And given some of the seasonings of information, a lot of you found underneath two cats, um, the, the strange behavior when it came to threatening Stan and then exiling him. He could not be happier right now, it seems. He is jovial. He feels great. That's probably what makes you feel the most the most worried. It's almost confirming my suspicions, suspicions. which is exactly why I incited him because I want yes. to confirm my suspicions. Yeah, he is very happy right now. He is he is happier than a pig of shit right now. Um, but you, to your point about catching the queen's eye, she's just kind of looking at you, just like almost trying to. Like it's a very familiar look. It's a it's a back down look. Well, if I come up with anything else, Your Grace, I will gladly bring it to your attention. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that it could. As a matter of fact, wrong. if you do, I'd be happy to talk it over in my private chambers over dinner. I will check my work Sitter. schedule. Consider it. Well, you you don't have a work schedule. You're on vacation. You're supposed to be. Here, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chancellor, um, can you pull up Devin's work schedule? Uh, sir, he he's on vacation. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. We're gonna give Devin specifically an extended vacation. Uh, let's give it a month. Clear everything. Don't worry about it. Call it a. A preemptive, you're welcome. Well, I think it's breakfast time. Ladies and germs, king out. And he walk up the stairs uh, and the queen will follow him and the chancellor also kind of follows as well. Who else is in there? So the, there are, there's, Someone that is serving as like the acting department head for the prisons in Zakaria's absence currently, uh, as well as some um, other servants. Um, there is also the uh, the chef that typically is found downstairs, um, but there's actually where you see because there, there's actually when everyone leaves, you see at the bottom there's actually a assigned like standings for each department head. And the one that's missing, which is the um, the head of the um, what's the term, the uh, the head of state, um, mm -hmm. which is Sven's title, or was Sven's title, is um, no, is not occupied. Are any of the queen's handmaidens around anywhere? They aren't right now, but they are. They typically stay um, upstairs. Devin's going to kind of let out a defeated sigh. And he is going to make his way unstealthily across the city. Okay. So you make your way outside. And... There's a strange kind of crosswind and you look to, you kind of look to your right with your passive perception of 17 and this small piece of paper that's folded up into like an airplane comes up to you. I'll open it. You open it and written in in these camp is a message and it says and actually what the first thing you see at the top left is just the letter q and then devon please stop for your own sake but 
if you have proof, find it. But don't request an audience until you do. And I'm going to assume that it is the queen because of Q. I think that's fair. I will tuck it away and I will groggily and, and frustratedly make my way to my brother-in-law's house. Okay. And I think that's a good time for us to take our break. Word. Mm. Break time! Yeah. Sounds good. So much drama. <laughs> Man, who are you telling? <laughs> Save the drama for your mama. All it's right. so good. Oh, we're back to mama, huh? Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cyrus, Cyrus asked you about the extended vacation the answer to the gallows. That's a great question. <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> find out. That was... You'll never find out. Because uh, Devin has a plan. Dun, so, dun, dun. We'll back from our break, we will check in on what's happening at uh, with the rest of the Peacekeepers uh, as um, Devin has a bit of a trek to <laughs> in order to give back. But yes, good old Royal Salt Review. So, love y'all. Don't go too far. We will be back soon. Uh, bye. Bye. Y'all killed me. So, like, what do I do with that? <laughs> and we're back. Well, you can't make the king unlikable, Jacob, and not have consequences. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, like and maybe who knows maybe he is a good guy i don't know whatever anyway hi everybody welcome back uh, oh hi uh, oh hi uh, oh did they get talking... that snippet oh definitely <laughs> and uh you know just you know talking about good old regicide not a big deal uh <sighs> yeah it's fine fine everything's fine everything's fine everything's fine we're exactly. good so uh, first of all, Ryan, thank you for the gift subs, my dude. You magical man. Um, you are so amazing. Shout you are out beautiful. Out to my dude. Go watch Call of Cthulhu. But, ooh, which is coming up season three soon. Anyway. Very soon. Let's very soon. So let's dive back in as... Welcome back, Kate. As we head back to a small house with a bit of a pillow fort downstairs. And I turn this down just a bit because that's a little louder than I wanted. So, uh, and as coming downstairs followed, uh, well, some, followed by um, the uh, small <laughs> little little Devin, which we will get into names if he ever gets what? to you. Oh, God damn um, it. What? What happened? Everything okay? People are moved around. I got to fix it. That's fine. Okay. That's all um, good. Devin got really pretty all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. Hold on, hold so, on. Where's my hood? There you go. <laughs> you just have to tuck the scarf up over your head and tie it. There you, there you go. Exactly. There you go. We're gonna so, make yeah. this happen. So yeah. So um. <laughs> so coming downstairs, like without even like, you just hear the creaking of the stairs. So my son tells me that a small group of adults came to my house at 2.33 in the morning and uh, that Devin sent you. As you see, a good bit older, like Jeremy, how much older is he than Devin? Well, he, he is Elvin, um, mm -hmm. so oh, that so... Make... Yeah, he's... Devin's sister married an elf um, and then enlisted during the war to serve under Devin. Um, mm -hmm. And so he's probably he's probably in his early to mid hundreds. Um, <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. But so jet really black young. hair um, with these uh, kind of large purple um, robes. Uh, he actually comes down um, barefoot almost gliding down the stairs. Uh, so, um, the peacekeepers have resorted to 
sleeping on my floor, apparently. Unfortunately. Hi. We hate to trouble you. If it is an issue, we can leave. However, Let's see. Devin explained to us that we could meet here safely and that he would meet us here. Right. Well, uh, that's interesting. Uh, well, it's a minor inconvenience, but of no consequence to this point. Uh, so, um, Demiel and Decrio. that one is uh, is Faber. Yeah, you're supposed, you're supposed to tell like the, the secret. Like, no, you're not supposed. To. This is literally exactly the opposite of the, of the plan. This, this is about building trust, and sometimes you have to extend the olive branch. You'll learn. Why don't you go ahead and whip up our friends some breakfast? Coffee, everyone. That sounds delightful. Wait, what's coffee? You've never. Mm. What's coffee? Well, and uh, I, I guess we need to uh, equate you and educate you on <laughs> such things. I, he's a little new around all these things from up here. Mm. Oh, an immigrant. Um, a visitor mm. of sorts. I haven't technically moved here. Oh, well. A more tourist than, than, than immigrant. Tourist, yes, tourist. <laughs> I'm a tourist. I am fascinated by Duvalia. It's great. Um, it's really interesting. You guys have a lot of things to eat and drink yeah. and I don't know so much yeah you gotta um, be careful you'll get fat um whoa oh you want to be fat is that I, I'm, I'm not sure anyway I um <laughs> well you know my my family is very um chubby folk but Something oh. about my infernal nature birth or something like made me all kind of not fat like them. Um, you know, because all my parents are halflings and stuff and my sister's See. a halfling and my brother's a halfling and my uncle's a halfling and they're all halflings. I'm a petitfling. I don't even know. But I'm sorry. What What was that word you just used? A uh, petitfling. It's a petite tiefling. Well, that's it's a new one for me. Not very interesting, um, but I'm the only one I've ever met, so I don't know. Ah, um, well, you're a unique specimen. I think congratulations are in order. But anyway, this is not why you're here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on the floor. So what do uh, I owe the, the pleasure or, or displeasure or... Convenience or inconvenience? Mm -hmm. Lots of things. Zucri is better with words. I... I'm... Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much you know, how much Devin has told you, but I will openly admit that I fear telling you any of this would, would compromise your position here. Well... Then let's say I don't know anything. Right, let's just say that Devin said that we'd be safer here than anywhere else, and we were to meet him here. Got That's it. All. How's okay. that? I don't well, want to put you in danger here, so. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, as um, brother-in-law Manifique, I think that that's uh, doable. How long will you be residing in my uh, accidental bed and breakfast. Accidental more than two more bed nights. Breakfast. Wow. Uh, two more nights, I see. Oh. Well, we'll have to do a bit of we'll do a bit of shopping, but um we may leave that's... sooner depending on when he gets here, but it will not be any more than two more nights. I see. All right. Well, can I, can um, I go shopping with you? 
I mean, if you if you want, you need to sure, lay low. You need to bring your cloak. Um, I can bring a cloak. I can be invisible too. Um, oh. for an hour, a day, it's one of those things that comes with being petitioning. I see. Well, and uh, as he's getting to say another sentence, Dad, um, you only taught me how to make scrambled eggs, and we're I like. I don't know if like people like it that way or like over over medium like you do. Oh, um, just... um, do you guys, Ollie, whatever. Do you guys take your eggs. Anything. Uh, Any way that's gonna... easy. I will. <laughs> will. My intention isn't to encumber you. Jacob, are there grits? Please tell me there are grits. Uh, I don't really well, slurp, yeah. so I'm good with anything. So, uh, um, why don't you? Uh, so, Petitfling, what was your, uh, what was your... Oh, that was rude of me. My name is Rilo, Rilo Rumblebelly. Rilo Rumblebelly. Hmm. Why don't you, uh, why don't you learn a little something, something about eggs and, uh, give it a shot. Oh. And, uh, and help a little one with the breakfast. Okay. That sounds like fun. Um, what's oh, an yeah. egg? Yeah. You learn a little bit, wow. Rilo. Go on and help. And... Okay. You don't know what eggs are? Oh my god. Where have you been? Well, I know okay. that they're like I know that like I know that like uh animals lay eggs and stuff like that. Is that what that is? Are like we eating animals, like baby animals? Uh yeah, but they're dead, so it's fine. <gasps> what? And like <laughs> So let's crack an eggs. Oh my god, that's so cool. Can I do it? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you gotta be careful. You have to. You have to make sure to just. Actually, it's better if you crack it on the side and then do that. It makes it easier. Just uh, don't do it super hard, because then it'll just explode. Okay. Am I rolling a dex check here? You, you know, I was. I really. I was. I was. I was on the fence. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. As much as you've never seen an egg before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucked this up so bad. Yeah, so let's Seven. Do it. Seven check. I probably should have cast Guidance, but... I was know. about to say... So, you... Do, you ask, you start to to take the egg and break it in two, and, ask, and with your excitement, you accidentally close your hands, and now it's just all over your hands, and you just have a big crushed egg. No, that's not. I don't think you're great at this. Um, I obviously am not, um, because it is my first time, and oh, I know right. that yeah. your first time at something you're not going to be usually good at. It I takes was actually really good at it my first time. Practice. Well, I'm sorry, we're not all exceptional people like you, you know. Dad, was that sarcasm? No. Just nuts. <laughs> Just nuts. I, I don't. I don't even know what sarcasm is. Um, you're like, you're, you're half elven, which makes you yeah. like really exceptional, like for real, real. Mm. Okay. Let's you get the best again. of both worlds. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to oh. do it together. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Hold on. Let me prestigitate so. this off my hands. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, that's a cool. You should teach me that afterwards. Okay. Okay. So first things first. All right. With me, okay? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Make another dex check. Okay. I'm going to cast Guidance. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> hey, so here, we might have to be picking egg chips out of our f eggs at the way things are going. Uh, at least the way it's sounding in the kitchen. I mean, not with his cantrip, we don't. I don't plan on picking eggs off of Rila. Okay. No, out of our food. That's 15. Oh. 15, yeah. 15. So this one is... Perfect. Cop boom. Whoa. And uh, it's like, let's see. Now, now, we could cook it just like that, and that's the sunny side up. Uh -huh. Or we can, we pierce it, and then we start stirring it, and it's all scrambled. That's how I like it. And then I put cheese on it. And then um, my, uh, I already have a, a, a thing of grits already working, um, and it's going to be great. Um, do you like bacon or ham or sausage? 
I don't the know. Yes, you want all three of sure. them. Sure. All I, right, great. I I'll eat everything. Um and yeah, I'm down. Um So as uh as Rilo <laughs> and uh and Fabra begin to uh make grits, eggs, um scrambled and uh a plethora of bacon, ham, and sausage for the uh, breakfast to come. And uh, we'll cut back to where everyone's at in the living room. So, um, and he actually, uh, by this point, will have uh, made some coffee as well. So, um, so yeah, before this shopping and breakfast, um, I don't really need to know anything. I, you know, I think plausible deniability is probably the best course of action, um, especially since you know I, I um kind of in the you know middle management when it comes to the the city. So middle management. Yeah, I you could call it that. Interesting. You know, taxes and stuff. Oh, I see. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go try to bribe me, though. I will report that shit fucking <laughs> post ace. It's okay. Everybody you report comes to me. I'm the warden. I've heard. Mm. You won't expect that here. Not happening. Taxes make the world go around, yo. Just saying. Quiet. Uh, anyway, so speak, speaking oh, of monies, would you need some for oh, supplies? Kelly looks at his coffee. I was wondering, oh, this is a little bit of the whiskey from last night. Works out, whiskey. actually. Yeah, you never, you never had whiskey and coffee before? Not at once. I'm not prone to drinking before work. You should give it a shot. A night after the week this has been. He'll actually just pour some <laughs> in your in your in your <laughs> mug. Fair enough. Now or never, I suppose. Indeed. So hey. uh, so you know, outside of three days of maybe we're just gonna Sit here in silence, or, or what? Um, what's... We don't honestly know what our plans are as of yet. If anything, mm. we know... If anything, we should probably discuss what supplies we need. Why, well, and where we can get some at, at, least, at least a decent price? Well, um, I could probably help out with that. Um... Are you trying to? What, is, what are the supplies? Nope, I'm not going to ask that. What are the supplies? Just tell me what you need them for. What are they? Uh, it would be probably. I uh, I would go with basic rations for rations. travel. Okay. About two weeks' um, worth, do you think, for each of us? Hmm. Probably wouldn't be a bad call there. Um, Rather have more than less. Anything else we can hunt for, probably. Aye. Um, considering we didn't have anything like this before, we probably should have at least a rope, uh, some rope and shovels. Considering no one had any but me the last time. I remember. Unfortunate, so, but funny. Rashes you don't need to worry about. I think we have that handled. Uh, he points to you, Satir. Move your chair over just a bit. Oh, oi. Um, moves and Mary and Sue and then moves the chair. He reaches over, knocks three times on the ground, and you see this, like, as this small, like, what it looks to be just wooden flooring pops open. Devin always prepared for emergencies. Fascinating. He's a kid at the right point, man. 
There's about, I think, last I checked, three weeks worth of rations in here. For... Alias. Hey. At least so much. They probably, they probably are a little, little stale, but, uh... I mean, Still rations are better than none. They're actually hey. MREs. They never go stale. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you check that box, I believe. Rope. Shovels. Rope. Hmm. Hey, the, rope I, the, rope I have. the rope I have. The rope I can handle. Shovels, uh, I don't typically shovel things, so that's a bit out. Oh, I've never heard to have at least another shovel or two. Um, it shouldn't be hard to find. All right. So, what else? I, I I guess the question is: Is are we not to drag you into this, kind sir? But oh, I'm in. I don't really <laughs> want to be, but here I am. Here in my house. I I understand that, but you don't understand the the gravity of the questions at hand, which is nope, why I don't want to. Uh, it's why I'm trying not to say the things we need to say. I um. Maybe you should go in the kitchen and help your your son for a ah, minute. I see what you did there. Yeah, so this doesn't burn anyway. Yeah, I. I <laughs> and if you just not burn food. Uh, but Rilo does because oh, I, I forgot Rilo. <laughs> Rilo's is infernal. <laughs> yep. Right. Definitely. My Rilo adopted son food, does. My burns. adopted son does burn food. I forgot. <laughs> there you go. Hey, we only eat slurp. I don't know. You can't burn slurp. All right. Hey, Zahira, so, so are we? Do you think we're staying here or going forward? We were instructed by Devin to meet here, and that if he did not come, we would go forward. I I understand that's what he said, but you are the leader, and what are you thinking? I'm thinking we don't go anywhere without leaving any and and leave anybody behind. I I would not feel comfortable leaving Devin behind. Well, let's kind of make a tally of what we have to deal with before we even deal with anything. The uh, dragon. Aye, that's a big one. We have Though that. it's going to keep a thorn in um in the in the big guy's side wouldn't be opposed to just leaving it there. But again, a lot of innocents could get hurt with the dragon I... lying around. Do we worry ourselves about the potential war that we've heard about in the future? We should definitely be worried about that. Us disappearing apparently started it. At least that's what I remember. But it was one of the... <laughs> Quick note on that. It, it, based on the conversation that you had in the future, it wasn't that y'all disappeared and then everything went to shit. It was throughout that, everything went to shit and then y'all disappeared. Oh. So this is the result. This is This is everything in the process of going to shit. Hey, so that's my point. Is it something that we really need to worry about? It sounds like it's going to happen regardless of what we do. It'd be silly not to. And then there's Worrying that little... and doing nothing about it is different, though. Uh, yeah, I, I... But what about our friend, the sage, who says we need to stop the end of the world? That's kind of bigger than a war. Yeah. It is. I mean, that would... What's to say the I... war doesn't lead to that, though? We don't know where anything leads. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Time, we 
We're still not even sure how time moves over here while we're over there. Uh, it felt like it didn't change. Nothing moved. I mean, we came back and it was the same time when we got back. If nothing, it felt like minutes. Yeah. We need answers. I don't think we're going to get them here waiting for them. I we need to go through and figure it out. Could we maybe talk to the sage and ask him about the time bubbles? Or balls, or whatever they are. And see if they, if he could tell us if there's time. If we go through one, if time moves the same time. But, oh, oh my head. Why don't... That's a good question. Sheriff, as you're doing that headache, why don't you make an intelligence check? Oh, that should be great. <laughs> uh, 18. Hey. So, you you kind of go back to that conversation as you, as you bring this up to Zakria. And something kind of hits frontal frontal lobe that one of the other um, prophets, if you will, was uh, Gaspar, who essentially ran time. And but Melchior wasn't sure where he ended up going to, but did mention that he did exist. He'd probably be the person to talk to. I do you remember the the other sage, the one that that he Malkia was talking about? There's three total, right? Um, the one that was a master of time. Mm. Maybe we should find him, because if anyone knows how to man what those blue orbs do, he would be the one that would know. It's just funny because Chris knows this very well. <laughs> I'm trying to play stupid. I know, I know, I know, I know. I love it. That'd be... That'd be... more beneficial than he could even possibly know. Um, they? They. Oh, I burnt my finger! What? Yeah. Favor just like... Favor like... Like it was try like testing out the eggs and <laughs> Oh here, hey. let me fix that. Okay. Hey, um I, right. I know I know that Devin wanted us to be here because it would be safe, but I don't feel comfortable putting his family at risk. I'm not either, but I'm not about to chase after him wherever he went. Of that, Devin. Are you rushing or are you taking your time? Uh, are he you is making stopping? haste. He is making haste, but he is also being observant. Okay. Because they got up a bit earlier than your meeting. So if you are making haste, um, make a dexterity check. I mean, we can always leave message and go somewhere else, maybe back to your house or to... My house is not safe. Well, I I understand that. Or even, hmm? even a different inn in, or a different place or even Five. rent a boat and go out on the sea. There's... No, we, we, we commandeered a location from Devin's boss, that, uh, that sketchy I? fellow. We could go I... there. But it's a sketchy fellow. Is do we trust him? More Even though Devin trust, did. More than we trust the royals. If Devin trusts them, I trust him. Uh, I know information can be bought, though. It's I, less trustworthy than this. I just don't want to put any more people at risk than we have to. I would rather us even camp out in the <laughs> forest than put someone else at risk. I'm with you there. As far as that goes, even out on the sea. 
Okay. And I swore I'd never go back. Why don't... Why don't we give it the evening? Until... If, if the evening comes and goes and Devin is still nowhere in sight, we leave. We're going to the woods. We're going to take care of that fucking dragon. I want my shit back. I that that's okay. That's a plan. Start there and work our way around. Yeah, we'll do that. It's best we got so far. Breakfast is uh, being passed around. <clears throat> Hey, some scrambled eggs. They, they look great. Rilo and... They're a little, they're a little over. <laughs> they're a little tap, tap it over. They're scrambled good, they right? Like, this is really good. Like... You did good for your first go. Thank well done. It's way better than my first go. Uh, but really? My... Uh, I... I grew up among wood elves. They were more extreme. Vegetarians, oh. vegans, even. Oh, that sounds bad. I, uh. He is awesome. I broke from the mold a lot. I like eggs. What's awesome yeah. is this. I, I bacon. Just hear language! What? <laughs> As I say, no, this bacon is awesome in celestial. Oh, wasn't it you? It was. <laughs> Wait, Rilo, you said it in Celestial? Yep. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so Kratos just kind of looks at you like, yeah. <laughs> She's, um, she, she gives you a weird face when she does that, though. Wow. And I look at you both saying stuff in gibberish and go, I, uh, what, uh, what are you guys saying? But it sounds like beautiful song. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cannon. What? <clears throat> what do you mean? Celestial. It's beautiful. It sounds all. No, I don't speak celestial. What? Okay. <laughs> Like, like she, she looks convicted. Like she, she <laughs> knows she doesn't. Well, uh, I have to be off for work. Um, oh, what do you do? Tax man. Taxes. Taxes. Yeah. Oh my god. Gotta make sure the bills are paid. Cobblestone doesn't make itself. Yeah. Wow. That's how my parents lost the farm. Because they didn't pay their taxes? Um, you know, um, it's a little complicated. I don't understand it because I don't really pay much attention to this stuff. Um, I, I think, uh, I think my dad may have made a deal with a devil. Huh. I'm putting two and two together. I see. What? Oh, two and two because you gotta do the taxes? Precisely. I said he, right. you have to get used to We're... Rilo. He, it's, it's about it's normal for him. It's a learning curve. Okay. Uh, not too much though, no offense. Um... <laughs> All right, I got to head off. Kiddo, time for you to get dressed, get to school. But, but, like, but we have, like, new friends over it. No. Plus, we'll be here when you get home. Maybe. Can he wear his armor to school? Uh, not... I mean... I really don't care. <laughs> so he was walked outside <laughs> and he's gone. And uh and Faber is just like, well, since he didn't say no, um 
I'm gonna be the most badass kid today, I think. Just don't get in trouble about it. Is this magical? No, no. No. Oh. Well, they don't know that. Word. <gasps> oh. Um, okay. When you leave for school, um, yeah. yeah, I will put a thing, I will cast, I will make it glow. Color. No. I'll make it. no, absolutely not. Oh, wait, no, I won't. I won't do that because that's We're bad and low. you'll, you'll get picked up by the, all the bad people. Magic so. is bad. We're not doing any magic. There is no magic to be had here. What? That's not what I heard. I know. Okay. No, right. but in public it is. That's not what okay. they tell us, like, you know, in the so, tourist uh, thing and Lover and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. So, okay. Well, I'm going to go... Keep it hush-hush. This is our secret. Secret leather armor magic. Yeah. Yes. And he'll, he'll, he runs upstairs. <laughs> Kids like secrets. Uh, yeah, I hope this doesn't come back to her invite. Well, kids can dream. Let them dream about magic. Kids are so weird, man. Coming what from... harm will they do? At this point, uh, Devin, <laughs> you have a rush. Uh, as he gets there, he just assumes that the house is still locked, so he'll he'll say in Elvin, Adir Shala, and the door will open. And, uh, yeah, you all see a uh, very familiar Devin. A little, was that, little worse for the wear. Was that Elvish loud enough to hear inside? Uh, no, he he said it at just the right tone. There's a certain pitch you have to hit with it. Yeah, so the, so, okay. so the door, like, just suddenly just opens. Oi, the door just... Oi, what happened to the door? <laughs> Devin comes walking in. Um, Devin happened to the door. That's a new, that's a neat trick, Devin. How'd you put that one? Family secret. Can't really tell it. You want mm. some eggs? <laughs> did, <laughs> Faber cook, did, did you cook them or did Faber cook them? I cooked them. Well, we both did. <laughs> They were cooked a lot of supervision. It really good. I'll eat in a minute. Has hey. Demille already left for work? I assume he has. Yes. I... Yeah. And Faber's probably at school already. Not yet. No, He's getting his armor I'm on. I'm still here. And he <laughs> runs out and what up? Some Uncle Devin! Yeah, pick him up and hug him. Yay! That's... What'd you bring me? Uh, hold on a second. Where'd you get that cool armor? A, a head of a really cool monster next time. So now I time did to pony up. I did. I did. Where'd you get that cool armor? Oh my god! It's a secret. I can't tell you. Okay. Well, it you're good a... at secrets. So remember, at school, nope. you don't know where I am, and you don't know who these people are in there. We're definitely not at your house. No. Nope. He's going to reach into a pouch on his side. And he's got like a small kind of like trophy that he he got while he was out in the Friendship Canyon yeah. spying on the, the orbs. Now, you can't take this to school. This needs to go upstairs to your room. Okay, but what is it? It's a pigeon. A pigeon? A dire pigeon. Oh, so one of those like regular pigeons, but more dire and like way bigger. A yes. dire pigeon. Awesome. A vampiric dire pigeon. No way! Shut yeah. up. Yes. Seriously? Seriously. Oh my god! I have to. Okay, I, I can't show it to him, but I'm gonna tell him. I'm. I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm. I, I'm gonna. I gotta figure out a good Shh. life about that. our secret. Our secret. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's fine. I got. I got. I got. I'm just like super protective. Protecting. You're very good at that. You've been taking care yep. of your dad, protecting him. Of course, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, they, I got in trouble. I got. I almost got suspended for the the, the longbow. Uh, but you know. I told you not to take any of the weapons to school. Well, I, I was getting bullied, and I was like, I had to show him who's boss, so I threatened to shoot him. And you he was like, bullied. you don't have a longbow, and so I had to bring it to show who, like, who's boss. You don't ever have to prove anything to anyone. You remember that. But Sucre is the boss. If someone said that you don't have something, just let it roll off your back. Um, but if you're being bullied forcefully, let me show you this neat little trick. He's like, throw a punch at me. Are you sure? Yep. All right. He's got to throw a punch at you. All right. Oh, my and God. Of course, I would roll really high. But <laughs> uh, let's see. It's like 17 to hit. That, that hits. Um, but what I'd like to try to do is I'd like to use Dex um, acrobatics and kind of like knock his, his punch to the side. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah, sure, see if ahead. I can do that without hurting him. Yeah, sure. You're sort of just taking him and having him as momentum go with him. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Let's go for it. Uh, that is an 18. 18. So yeah. And you just catch it and you just go, ah! You could catch him like before he falls over. So the next that time some was cool. Next time someone tries to punch you or kick you, use their momentum to throw them off balance. Like Don't I just be able to hit me anyway. You just keep slapping the leather armor. All right, I've missed at least three periods already, so I gotta go before Dad gets mad. So see ya. And he I'll see you tonight when you get home. We're leaving tonight after I talk to Demio. Fair enough. Uh, the yeah, king, that's kind of what we figured. The king is secretly backing the CNBC. You know this for a fact. He gave me another month's vacation. Why would he give me vacation if he didn't want them to run amok and cause problems? He knows what we do. We solve the problems that he creates. Bastard. Hmm. I think we need to go to Lobra. Find Sven. And then come back and deal with the dragon. And then we're going through that orb. Can what? we just go through the orb and not go to Lobra? We need to find out what Sven knows. He asked me to come find him when I was ready, and I'm ready. I need to know what's going on. I think we all do. God damn it, Sven. I, well, if that's the thing, I guess one more would help us take care of that foul lizard, that's for sure. This is a point of order. The deadline was today. To get to Lobra? No, no, for the lizard. Then we need to sleep. Mm -hmm. Rilo? Yeah, I need to sleep. I've been up all night. I post hastily went, hoping that the king would go along with my attempt at diplomacy, even though there really is no need for diplomacy. He, he was happy that they demolished the building and saved the crown money, which isn't out of the ordinary, but knowing what we know, it just further sums up that he is somehow in league with them and supporting them and doesn't want the rest of us around. Uh, that goes with what I also found out when I was out there on the waterline. Those buildings were slated to go down anyway. Mm -hmm. Rilo, I know you don't want to go back home, and I don't know the reasons, and you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell any of us, and you don't have to go. But this is the course of action. We need to talk to Sin and find out what he knows. If we can prevent that war from happening somehow, we need to do that. And then we're going to go through that orb, 
and we're going to stop Nachos, and we're going to find Talara, and we're going to find some way to bring Horace back. I, Devin, I don't think we're going to be able to stop that war. I think it's bigger than us, and I think it happens no matter what. I think what we can do is band-aid things together until it happens. We've already Make stopped sure one more. Uh, Do if, we stop it or just slow it down? Yeah, hey, that's what I'm afraid of. That's why we need to talk to Sven. Okay, but that dragon needs to be taken care of first, so you need to sleep. Um, and I think at this point you kind of notice that around Devon's, uh, even with his cloak, around Devon's uh, milky white eye, that there's a there's a tint of kind of darkish green and purplish black looks to be like energy and he kind of makes his way over to where the the cellar door is and does the magic knock and then goes to uh, closes it and goes down and sleeps in the cellar mm. Right. Eight hours to kill. <laughs> so, what would you all like to do? You have it's about eleven ish or so. Um, ten thirty eleven at this point. We need a plan of action for that dragon. What I'd about, like to ambush it if we can. What about? after breakfast nap and second after breakfast nap. Do you I... want to help planning the attack on the dragon or do you want to nap? Um, oh. Devin would have asked Rilo to send uh, Pepper to see if he, Pepper could see what the kids were. Oh yeah, for sure. <clears throat> right. But that's really far away. Um, you wouldn't be able to do the contact situation if that was. The she case. can't do the contact, but if she goes in and sees and comes back and yeah. you know relays when she's in a good distance, she might be able to do that. Could yeah, I think that. that's what we were. I yeah, think that's that was... what we originally thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. I mean, if anything happens, you can just reconjure, but. Uh, Okay. Um, all right, but you have to be careful. Yeah. And don't get... No. Don't get eaten. No. No. Whatever. Okay. We'll get her some treats on her when she comes back. Okay, okay, okay. So great as that treats. Yes. I don't know. It's not Slurp. I promise. It's not Slurp. Right, right, right. Okay. As she flies out of his shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, she'll go scout. And so dragon. Okay. Dragon, green dragon, poison. Yep. yep. Um, and oh they're very crafty intelligent hmm Zakri's going to try to find a pen and paper yep she's going to draw a really rough map of the area uh it doesn't take you too long to find there's a kind of an end table next to the um the chaos of uh this blanket fort that you all had to sleeping in uh <laughs> and uh with you know with some parchment and uh, and quill very good. She's going to draw a super rough map of the entrance of the cave, which she saw on the inside of the cave with the forked road. Okay. Uh, about as far in as she thinks she, she saw, and uh, the lay of the land from what she can remember of the outside. Cool. You just saved uh, a hefty perception check right there, to be very <laughs> honest with you, because I was about to do it. So good on you. Uh, so... <laughs> So yeah, so uh, so yeah, so um, 
I always forget what what is the super dragon name again, Maddie? I always forget for some reason. Pepper. 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 There we go. Uh, so Pepper heads out, um, and you know, at about the you know thousand foot mark, sort of, you know, <laughs> it gets very staticky. Uh, but um, go ahead and make a stealth check for uh, for Pepper for me. Okay. Pepper. Uh, and still. Ooh, dirty 20. Hey. Really? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. So. Pepper is gone for a very long, very long time. She's, because she doesn't have to go on foot. Uh, it's a little quicker than Devin's trek, and also Devin was super fucking tired. Um, three hours, five hours. You guys doing anything during this while you wait? Yeah, with the map Zakria drew, she's gonna mm -hmm. probably try to come up with the best plan of action for attacking the cave. Okay, okay. Uh, sure. Perhaps getting some bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Some Molotov cocktails. Ha, what a warm escalation! That that wasn't a that wasn't a materials. We went right from zero to bombs. Yes. Her? Well, we, we we're trying to figure out how the hell to sneak up on this dragon. So it's a great, you know, stealth up as far as they can stealth up, and uh, since they're coming in the night, possibly bombs. Okay. So are you going shopping with your hood up? Is that the plan? Um. After after we all agree on a plan, probably yes. Okay, well then, don't mind me. Go for it. <laughs> um, I don't. Really she would try to remember the lay of the land as best as she can to see if yeah. they could set up an ambush. You feel pretty confident hey. about your memory in that regard. I don't think we're going to be able to sneak up on this thing. I think we're going to end up having to just, if anything, we maybe out strategy it and. But sneaking is... I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I'm not the sneakiest either. So do we go in guns blazing? Or do we try anyway? I think uh, between the two of us, you and I can go in guns blazing. Be a hell of a distraction while Devin, Rilo, and Wurr, the sneakier of us, can take care of business. You and I are pretty good meat shields. It really right. depends on what Re Pepper reports back about, you know? Because um, really, I think a lot of what we're going to need to do is determined by what those kids were. <clears throat> yes. Also, um, green dragons are very sneaky. They're very cunning. They're they're very thoughtful. Um and they're gonna be she's they're gonna be ready for us. But they're also very vain. Wait, and and I'm actually trying to kill this dragon. It isn't very peaceful. We're they trying threaten to... the city. I that is true. But... I tried to negotiate with it. I did. Okay. Yeah, I wanted I to just... rip you off is what it wanted. It did. It so weird. Just we could bring attempt a up. second negotiation, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And you can't really trust a green, gra green dragon as far as you can throw it from what you guys are telling me. Um, not really, because they'll make a deal and then they won't always keep it. Um, they'll look for any way uh, to get advantage on you and yeah I think the only reason why it hasn't struck the city already is because it gave me its word well I demanded it I bet really the reason is because it's I don't know if it's powerful enough They're they, they... very um, self-preserving. Uh, 
Um, and this is like just um, literally the first time Rilo's been educated on a manor. <laughs> Hey, I mean, what I remember from the stories when on the when I was on a boat, we didn't. Dragons were like mythical terrors. Are we up to this? It's also the city. Honestly, our chances are fifty-fifty. But we have a better shot at it than the city does. You okay, bud? Huh? You okay? You look yeah. apprehensive. Um. Wait a minute. What were we talking about? The dragon. But oh. I was asking if you were okay. Yeah. Um. I'm just not excited about going home. Fair enough. Okay, so how do we go about this then? If we're not going in guns blazing against a dragon. How do you expect we do this? Well, I would, uh, huh. well, I think Satoru we and I as a distraction is the only thing I've got right now, unless anybody else has any better ideas. Well, we could do the whole flash, like have a cart with something that flashes brightly and dazzle it for a minute. That'd Whisker, be... who's been quiet this whole time, is just going to say, if it flies, I'm going after it. That's fair. We all know where you stand, dearest. I we kind of figured you'd be going after it right along with us. It should fear you more than you should fear it. We all know that. Yeah. Um, hmm. Especially well, until if we can come up. Danger. I don't care that's bigger than me. Sure. I guess the question now is do we Oh, that's the thing. Um dragons breath. Um dragon breath. Uh we need to be all spread apart. Yes, we do. Okay. We can't, we can't bunch up. Because that's how they get you. Aye, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, pray that they only get to use it once. Well, and I would definitely say, Rilo, you need to be ready to pick anybody up that drops, being our lone source of health, right? Well, Zucria can do it as well. I, but from Rilo should bit... handle the distance healing. I can handle I... you if we're going to be together. I can probably handle you and I can handle okay. Devin if Devin's not cl if Devin decides to come up close. Well, I can do a lot of distance healing. I, well, that'll help. We'll spread the healers out. Rilo and I should never be Within 20 feet of each other. Hey, when we're so fighting sorry. the dragon, right? Correct. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. You don't smell bad, hey, I sir. promise. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. Um, I'm not a uh, tactician, so, but. Uh, you worry about when you can hear Pepper again. Yeah, 
I that's that's a big thing there because this is that's going to dictate a lot of what we do mm-hmm. <sighs> well, if this is the best plan we've got among us we can go out shopping for something flashy and lure us a dragon after we get Pepper's report And maybe run it by Devin and make sure he thinks it's a good idea too when he wakes up. Absolutely. Um, I'm the leader, but we're a team. I The only other thing that we got to think about is what if it takes flight? Well, that's what I was worried about with the rock for a while. And then... Uh, or decided that's that what, that wasn't a thing anymore, so... That's what I'm here for. Yeah, it was more really? trouble when it came on the ground. As long as War can take Rilo with her, I think we should be okay. Hi. If, yes. if you guys aren't worried about it, then I won't worry about it either. Just... The worst it can do is limp away and know that we almost took it. But... The only thing I know about dragons is that they're vengeful. Yes. That's everything in the story, in, the, in any story that I've heard, is that you don't piss off a dragon without hearing about it later. Do you we guys, can't let it get away. Um, do you guys have ranged attacks? Yeah. Uh, not very well. We should probably get you some stuff to throw then. We should get you some javelins or something. I've got I a have, good number. I have a couple, but they're not going to be worth, worth much at the distance, but yeah, I can throw a few. It's, um, because the dragons, if it gets, if it gets the opportunity, it's going to take flight. And, um, if, if you hit it a couple times with Sue and Mary, it's definitely going to take flight because it doesn't want to deal with that stuff and um so you're gonna need a plan b well i'm hoping that uh i can stop it from taking flight i've i've got away with words i mean i know you have a way with words that's for sure i forgot that i should be direct with you i have my command spell oh That's cool. Um, <laughs> how old is this dragon? Oh. You gonna work on that dragon? Yeah. It could always work. I don't think we know yet. We never figured that out. We can always um, hit it with other stuff first. We'll figure this so out. So as this as this conversation continues, uh, Rilo. Hi, but let's go get our work now. Hey, Rilo, you begin to um, make uh, contact, and you you start to just hear these like plethora of words, and you hear. It's actually funny because you were talking about eggs earlier. You hear the word eggs. Eggs. You hear the word hundreds. Hundreds. Hundreds of eggs. Hundreds of eggs. I think this dragon's going to have a really big breakfast. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Then there was crackling and several small dragons, eight of them, multicolored, not just green, black and green. Oh no. 
Oh, this is much worse than we thought. What's wrong? Baby dragons. Baby dragons, eggs, hundreds of eggs, crackling, eight baby dragons, black and green. Oh no. Shit. I... Um, maybe we should get that money. We're doing it. Because, oh boy. Oh boy. You know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh. And after a pause, on my way back. Barely got out. Big dragon almost saw me. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Is Pepper at least okay? She's okay. She's barely. The the dragon almost saw her. Hundreds of eggs. That's... Hundreds of eggs. There's um potential for Oh my god. Potential for what? The Duvalia Lobra K dub everything falling to a massive, massive army of dragons. Shit. Uh, maybe that is. Could that be the war that we... The... Anything could be anything. We needed more time, damn it. I've never hated time more. I... Maybe we should but ask I... Could that be the war that we heard of? Guru time. It, it, could, it could be. It could be anything at this point. We don't know. But Melchior wasn't the guru of time. He was the guru of... Uh, I don't remember now. But oh, he was the guru of health, right? No. Yes? You muted Jacob. So that, and, that and I hit my knee on my desk, so things are going well. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Melchior is the guru of life. Life, life. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Close. Balthazar, Balthazar was the guru of reason. Gaspar is the guru of time. Gaspar, oh, that's right. It sounds yeah. like Gaston. Okay, and we, we don't know <laughs> where he is. No one knows. No time one knows like time Gaspar. like Gaspar. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid, but so good. Um, okay, shit. Uh. Yeah, we're not. Um... I we're not ready for that. No. That that oyster is now. Uh, that is much muckier than than just. That we one, have to we have to leave for Lober tonight. One from a, a, a octopus. What? What? We have to leave for Lobra? Is that what you just said, Rilo? Yeah. We, we can't we, just leave a dragon and eggs. We can't we can't do anything about it. We have First to we have like, to, can we just destroy the eggs? That's precisely what I'm thinking. It's There's eight hatchlings already. Um and they're you know, not like Pepper, like. Uh, 
there's still substantial, um, dangerous. Oh, I don't know. So we wait till they get bigger. What? What do you? No, I'm thinking that if we go, if we go back home, there's more help there. We're not going to find any help at that castle. Absolutely not. We'll find help at home. I so we go. We don't have time to wait, though. Yeah. The dragon's supposed to be coming today. Today was the deadline. Well, if today's the deadline, wouldn't they be coming tomorrow? Like, because, you know, you have until the end of the day, so... End of the day is midnight, is it not? Yeah. We can't make it to Lobra and back in time to slay a dragon after we've acquired help by midnight, oh. especially not if they're marching and... Oh, no, I'm not saying that we would be able to get back in time for the dragon and stuff, but... Um, I'm just... I don't think we're going to... I don't know. I don't think we can do this. Oh no. It does change things. I it does. We'll the only thing to... I can think of doing is waiting until waiting until Devin wakes and seeing what he thinks. Yeah. We seem split. Because, yeah, I mean, if it was up to, if it was up to Wur, like, we'd just go kick that dragon's ass right now. Yeah! If it was up to me, we'd go kick that dragon's ass right now. Yeah! I don't know hey, if but we can. We just heard there's more than one now. Yeah. I, uh... How, I, uh, right though, how many did Pepper say? Eight. Again? Eight, eight, eight green eight. and black not just green but black as well they're a little they're a little weaker sometimes than the green but they're acid oh. so eight hatch and hundreds of eggs one that's a brooding size and hundreds of eggs. Um, yeah, this got a lot more complicated. The only I, thing I think to do is to maybe get a few contacts. Anybody who would be able to help slay this dragon here. Anybody Devin might know, or hell, any of my own personal personnel. Uh, but is that enough? That's that's like nine lizards. Uh, that's nine. It's not just one anymore. Even if the eight littles are, that's still, they're eight, uh, that's nine total. Either we try, or they go amok. These are our two options. We have nothing else. We, we can't wait on this. It, we're, we're either fighting nine lizards, or the city is facing hundreds of hatchlings because we dillied. Or you do what Rilo at suggested and go get help. If any is in from Lobra is magical, like Rilo, they pack more punch than I do with with even Mary and Sue. Right, but that's still on that note, a name 
creeps into your mind. Someone from a good while back. Someone by the name of Azent. A white dragonborn paladin. You specifically have had conversations or overheard conversations around um, dealing with the prejudice of being a white dragon. But she doesn't, she takes it like on the chest. It's all about controlling what she can control. She would be a good ally to have in this. Was she here in the city? She lives in Lobra. How, how far? She, you typically find, um, you, she lives kind of in the outskirts. Yeah. Um, unlike Duvalia, which is like a very like encompassing city, um, Lobra is more like a, like of a large commonwealth. Okay. And there are several kind of like suburbs that are outside of the city proper. Um, and she, uh, there's actually a small forest um, called um, the Middle Now. And that's typically where you'd find her on her own. How long would it take us to get there? Um, about a day and a half's travel, one way. Okay. Um, I remember. I'll relay the inf information. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, she would be good. She would be. Great. I um I think we need help. And if we get the help we can take care of all of it. Um I think if we go on our own it might have been different with Horus here. But without Horus, we would perish in, and and then the city is, is is as good as gone. I am agreeing with you, Rilo. Um, I don't think when there's just one, I was agreeing that we should take it. With nine, even if they're littles, um, I, I think the numbers outweigh, and we need help. Right, but we need help, and we don't know how fast they're hatching. That's the problem. Yeah. The addition of one extra person might not mean anything if we're planning on nine, and by the time we get there, it's 15. Oh, this is just oh, no word. Uh, uh, that pepper is outside. Oh. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, she doesn't know how to open doors. I'll go open the door. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And immediately, like, in circles around your neck, just like, you just feel like this adoration of just like, oh my god, I almost die. Oh my god. <laughs> right, right into your shirt. How big are those things? Uh, you get a sense the the, the response. There's like a moment of like as like Pepper's sort of, even though as a fake creature, you know, not exactly like catching their breath, but there's a sort of a relief of of safety, and um, sort of the 
response is uh, fresh, freshly hatched, um, but still, there's many to many more to come. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, we need help. How much? I think, I, do you remember how much it was? The payment was supposed to be. It was supposed to be half Is now, half f- later. Twenty-five gold. Um, uh, fifty gold total. Why? Why don't you just maybe pay it, and then that buys us a week? It goes a good bit more than that. <laughs> like add some zeros. <laughs> uh, I had it in my notes. Oh. It was fifty gold. Uh, from the start, um, just to buy it right now, and then the rest. All right, because it was a. It, it that's right. It was in the thousands, and then it was negotiated down to a time limit of per like uh, cycle, so to speak. So yes, fair enough. All that to be said, I just want to make sure it was clear. Like that was the be- That's the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. It was 25 now, 25 later. She yep. wanted more. Yep. And further negotiations need to be met. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I will, if right. we can, if we pay another week, we that at least gives us, buys us a time to get a couple of allies, maybe. I'm, I'm about that. I, I'm, that's a good plan. I, it kicks the can down or the bottle down the road, but we at least have a chance to get at least Rilo's uh, ally, friend, person. It gives us a chance to get a number of allies. Well, it certainly kicks the can down to the road to Lobra. One way or another, we're going to meet the dragon tonight, and something's happening. Still a plan. Okay, well, more of my uh, money down the drain. I, uh, how much is it for this payment? I was agreeing on installments. She, we agreed on 50, 25 now, 25 later. So she's expecting 25. She will want more. I, maybe we double to payment and say hey this is a good faith and sweeten the pot go from there yeah I, I'm willing to put in half I'll put in the other half I don't have anything really that's fine to me I what the all right. I guess we'll, we'll have a bag for the, the, the 25 of mine and 25 of yours, and hey, we're ready. Here we we'll are. Try and, we'll try and at least get uh, assistance for down the road. And pray we have enough money to last. When was our last? Yeah. What was our last stipend from the king, Jacob? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's typically a bi-weekly. Um, so it's going off my going off my character sheet. I haven't put any money on my character sheet since I rolled. So. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. Uh, Touche. Uh, yeah, because it so it was every uh, two weeks, and essentially it was a. Gold per day for everyone, uh, but two for Zakria because she's doing two jobs. Um, so we'll say for the sake of simplicity that um, everyone has an additional, um, even on vacation, uh, an additional 14 gold to add, and Zakria has 28. Okay. Much obliged. I am kind, for I'm going to kill you with green dragon poison. <laughs> so. Might as well give you gold first. <laughs> Green and black, apparently. How dare you? Oh, what? What? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, boy. By the way, 
the DC on that was a fucking 18. So that tw- that that dirty 20. Ah. Uh, clutch. Get it, Pepper. So. Pepper for the win. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, Pepper's been clutching in has a any situation. Passive perception yeah. of 18, so. Anyway. She's our official mascot. <laughs> oh, duh. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, is there anything else that you all wanted to do for the rest of the afternoon before um, uh, before Devin runs? Until we wake up Devin? Long runs? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we should still go out and get supplies. Okay. Uh, so take uh, I'll 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 let Zahir and Rilo go out and get supplies, and I'll stay back to keep Devin protected, since he's technically asleep and unprotected. Sure, 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 sure. I'm I'm under sure. a floor. Nobody knows I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if you've been followed, sir. You can so I will. Found. I know. I anyway. Rilo and Zahir, why don't you guys go get supplies? I will stay and protect. Devin, in case he was followed. Right. So, I tell you what we'll do. We will conclude on that note uh, with shopping episode a little bit in between the sesh, and then we will pick up for the final preparations for what is sure to be a climactic level confrontation with uh, Kipiol the uh, dragon in which you were uh, referring to. And uh, well, she found out that um, perhaps she is not alone. No. But <sighs> those mysteries now. will, uh, <laughs> as Kibio nicknamed the bringer of death. She wants some gold, y'all. I don't know what you're what talking about. Anyway, as we will close on that note, uh, oh boy. Holy Toledo. That was something. <laughs> Y'all keep bringing it, though. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We um, die, man. Oh, man. Oof. Just watching the back and forth. Oh, uh, man. Conflict. We'll, be all, we'll be fine. Famous last word. Yay, conflict. Oh, all right. man. I know, right? So before we get out of here, want to bring it back around also i have a couple of announcements um so uh which we'll end on um so maddie why don't you start us off my dude since this is your place of existence oh um sup i'm maddie and uh yeah i don't know man I'm tired poor uh, rilo <laughs> he's got to deal with so much today i am like um wow <clears throat> anyway um so yeah this is my uh this week coming up is my soul bear week uh we've got surrender your booty on monday we uh tuesday we're doing our session zero for our next campaign um which is going to be a wild mount campaign thank you chris um and then uh wednesday is uh taldori world and sadness and i mean world and chaos and um <laughs> and then uh yeah um this coming weekend is uh Dragonlance and we've got all sorts of fun stuff coming up um with um the return of Call of Cthulhu moving from Call of Thursday to Call of Tuesday and Ooh. um uh, with season three, um, and we've got a great bunch, including um, including Jeremy here and stuff. So it's gonna be a really uh, really fun. Ryan's got so many madman that guy. Wonderful, wonderful, evil ideas. Um, but like, oh my god, it's so good. Um, and then uh, yeah, and then actually. Um, a week from tomorrow, uh, we also have a new game starting up um, on every other Monday, uh, run by uh, Corey, uh, D and Diapers here. Um, they're going to be playing the Quest system, and um, Jake is in that. So, <laughs> you yay! Know, along with Kate and Smitty and Zan and. Alex, it's an amazing group of people. Holy fuck. 
Um, and if it one. wasn't for my other game, I'd be involved in that. But, you know, I'm busy. <laughs> can you do? I'm a very busy man. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, there's all this stuff going on. We got a lot of great stuff here happening um, right here with the Chatty Fam. Um, and um, we also have a game starting up. Uh, transferring over from Thread Raiders uh, every Thursday. Um, it's a D&D 5e game. If you're interested in joining, they're looking for some more players. Um, you can message me or you can message um, uh, Mike at Hybrid Gamer. And um, yeah, so that'll be starting up here pretty soon as well. And yeah, golly, it's going to be a uh, busy busy place around here jeepers fuck yeah nothing wrong with that hell yeah so going counterclockwise to jess who i now absolutely have to give some lobra shit to so <laughs> give me all the content oh boy Pull it I at me wait. <laughs> wait. I've, I've teased it long enough so so, hi, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I am Jess, aka Freckle Sketches on the Everywhere. Uh, I'm your resident cartographer, your uh, official cartographer of Duval and Dragons. Um, and I'm here every other Sunday. I'm hoping to change that. Might be, might have some things planned in the future, but we'll see. Hell yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, you that, and uh, I've got... I got a fancy new camera and a really nice setup. I might be doing some uh, cartography streams eventually. Ooh, I we'll want to see that. We'll see. we'll see. Who knows? That's awesome. Hot. <laughs> I would be totally cool if we did some people on Dragon Show on the internet. Oh, hell yeah. That'd be awesome. That'd be super awesome. Very nice. Chris, what you, what you got going on over there? Oh, just a few things. You know, the... We're revamping back up the in live games up here in Montana. So, Badlands DD is starting to hit it hard again. So, yes, thank you, Maddie. Uh, and we're getting ready for our, we're, you know, if you guys have never actually set up a conference, a, like a Badland or a DD conference, those things take a lot of prep and effort. Um, yeah. That's what we're starting now because it's, uh, we have another one that we do in, Labor Day. So, if you're if you're up in the in my neighborhood, come stop by around Labor Day because we'll be doing a good old D and D conference. So, anyway, yeah, you can find me over on Twitter at Chris N and at uh, BadlandsDnd.com as we do all the stuff we do. BadlandsDnd.com. What up? Awesome. So, last but certainly not least, Jeremy, tell us about that now. Well, hello, I'm Jeremy, better known as Darth and Trary. Uh, as Maddie said, I will be playing on the Call of Tuesday game where Ryan has threatened to take my sanity and I asked him how you, how you can take someone's sanity when they don't have any. <laughs> good question. Um, I will be playing uh, Marshall Pierce, a used bookseller, um, but the books he tends to sell are uh, kind of out there and occulty. Um, you can also find me on Fridays oh, over on... Slade's Paradise Twitch, where I run a game called London Is Not Dead. It is an Anarch game for Vampire the Masquerade 5e. And sometime in February, not exactly sure yet, we're still working out the details, I will be part of a four-player uh, four Fall of London game, which takes place in 2012, uh, before my game. So I'm looking forward to all of these things, especially... Cthulhu, Cthulhu, I, I, I worship Cathesis. Um, As you do. He's the best. Um, what can you do? But cool, that's what you can find me on all the, the social media at Darth and Trary. Um, and of course, here every time they're live because these this is my family and I love them all. Love you, man. Oh boy, you guys are so sweet. It's like it's like I haven't tortured you the last three sessions or anything. Um, <laughs> I feel bad, but I don't. At the same time. I almost Stop. shot the king tonight. I almost oh shot God, the king tonight. No! <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Anyway, so yes, uh, I'm your dungeon master, Duval Master Jacob, Duval King Jacob on the internet, Twitters and the Instas and the Twitches. 
Um, you can t obviously find me here uh, as well as mm -hmm. on um, Wednesdays uh, on Twitch.tv slash Saverick uh, for a little Blades in the Dark game, um, which, uh, called, which is the Ash Syndicate. And we start our season two this coming Wednesday. Holy shit. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, Nate has promised to turn the dial up um, uh, on the danger uh, and the things. So we'll see what happens. Oh my God, please don't kill my imaginary child. So that's fun stuff there. That's um, what I tell so, you every week. Don't kill my imaginary I, I mean, children. I, I've been close a couple of times. Uh, so now, as many of you know, uh, because of a third raider is going bye-bye, um, Geek Attack is without a home right now, but not for long because we are working on that. So stay tuned. And uh, my good buddy, Olabar, my favorite half-orc buddy, uh, will be back um, on the internet soon, um, as well as some other really, really cool things. But the announcement I wanted to make was on February the 13th, on the Paris RPG channel, I will be running a one shot uh, for them uh, during their mid break um, programming. So, really excited for all that. So, um, that is a Paradise RPG on Twitch and on Twitter and all that good stuff. So, uh, can't wait to play with those fools again. Um, if you watched the heist, uh, two of their players were on in that game um, on the Gift Tavern. And so I don't even know what's going to happen this time um, because it will also be another uh, in canon to do all dragons one shot in which it could affect the game. And if you watched the one from last weekend, um, the next time that these guys go to future in time, uh, man, K Dub's going to look a lot different. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I don't, even, I don't even know where I'm going to put him. Actually, no, that's not true. I do know because it will take place in Lobra. So right now what's happening is it has it could have an immediate effect of the next several weeks of games, games after that. So it's going to be crazy. Um, I think that's it. Um, mm. Man, I love y'all. And uh, also to, once again, as always, still so from Kate, um, just in case you forgot, uh, trans rights are human rights and Black Lives Matter and rainbows are awesome. Uh, and uh, fuck the police. Also, love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, always remember to free those fucks, folks. And free the fucks. Free those you know fucks. I mean? Yep. And butts. Yeah, free your butts, too. And, free um, them butts. Yeah, free the butts. Um, I, I and free them butts. Free and butts. remember... Um, uh, Rilo is only one level away from Fireball. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Just saying. That is fantastic. We need to go, That's like, kill, kill boars out in the forest till we get that level. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's just play WoW for, like, ten minutes, and then... Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Because, we'll yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, finally. It's just multi-classing, man. You know? It's rough. But... Almost there. So who who we uh who we raiding, Maddie? Uh, I, I pitch, am. If you don't have one in mind. Um, who you got? Oh, Lamar's yeah. on. Okay, we can do that too. Oh yeah. So that's my boy, um, from Soul Bear RPG. We play a lot of D and D together, and oh, um, got us got to show the love. Um, yeah, do the thing. And uh, he is the uh, per he's the only person that got me a Christmas gift this year. Aww. So, Aww. so he's I a love beautiful Lamar. man. Yeah. Lamar's amazing. So let's drop some Duvals in the chat, y'all. Yup. Yep. And uh, yeah, before his stream, he poked in here a little bit. I saw him in the in the. Oh yeah, I didn't see the little thing there. Um, so anyway. Yeah. Um, free the fucks and fucks. yell some Duvals and butts, okay? Because Lamar loves them butts. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye.